get in the first pick. Get three, Pyro, get three with the- Wait, can put it on a clinic? Whole team's down- OOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
I'm first. Uh, oh, okay. I'm Bard. I'm from <laughs> Modify this last season, and next season I'll be on Mechanize. Uh, and my favorite sound in the game is actually a voice line that is no longer in the game, but it's uh, a Junkrat voice line that goes, I'm beginning to feel they have a shield generator. <laughs> and it's just... Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. The fact that it's not Beautiful. in the game anymore uh. makes me sad every single day. Uh, and I, I think we should start a petition to bring it back. Yeah, I'm telling. Just... I want there to be an arcade mode that every now and then they just throw a random patch on there from the past, and like you don't know what it's going to be for the day or for your match. You oh just jump gosh. in, and then there's like little bastions with shields from the beta or something like <gasps> that. Oh, oh, it'd be so cool. <laughs> I think you just killed some people in this chat booth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After Bard, we have. It's me. Um, I'm Kaden. <laughs> I play for Maelstrom. And my favorite sound, I don't know if this technically counts because it's not like an in-game sound. However you define it. <laughs> so my favorite sound from Overwatch would be when I'm playing May and my teammates call me evil. <laughs> I mean, and I know I'm doing my job. Hey, as long as you're doing your job, that's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> all right, heading now over to the indigo side. Who's gonna start us off? Dante. Hello. Yeah, I'm Dante. Yep. Welcome. <laughs> uh, for your sound, uh, I have two of them. What's it called? The when I get nanoed, for when I get nanoed, I'm just smashing with the uh, Reinhardt. That clunk sound, it's addictive. Mm. It is. And and um I've been nanoed, windowed uh the shift of Orisa. And when you start start shooting people with the on their head, it, you just hear the, the constant ding 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 Oh man. I love doing that in one V ones against other Orisas that think think they can beat me. It's so much fun. It's just like you do you do know you can get headshots too, right? They don't yeah they don't get headshots. Uh, <laughs> all right. Who we got next? It's me, Narcissus. I'm from Void, and my favorite sound is Winston's laser. Ooh. Zapping people. Zip, 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 zip. All right. And after Narcissus, we have... Uh, hi, my name is Cry. I'm from Flashbacks, uh, your season five champions. And uh, my... Nice. I guess my favorite... Not sound, but voice line would be Lucio's "Woo jackpot!" and you just go around <laughs> spamming that. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> so, a good one. so the Lucio getting boops and spamming "Woo jackpot" every time they get yeah, a boop. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who do we have after cry? Oh wait, it's me. Hi, That's right. I'm Rainbow from Ultraviolet, and my favorite sound in the game is the interrupted Genji Blade voice line when he gets slept. Ooh, that mm. is satisfying. It is indeed satisfying. All right. Who do we got next? Um, It's Lexi. I'm from Pantheon. It's my first season in Trank, and my favorite voice line has to... Or not voice line. My favorite sound in the game is on Ilios. Ilios? I can't say that word. Ilios? Map. Yeah, that one. Where... You break the wine bottle. Oh, so you were the one I got that yes, idea from. I, was <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I got it from somebody. I just didn't remember who it was. Now I know. Uh, that sound is very nice. I like doing that in um, in Eichenwald as well. It's funny because you can break, you can't break the regulars. You can break all the bottles, but you can't break like the glass steins, which is interesting. Yeah. It shatters so yeah, perfectly. It is it's very a nice. Perfect sound. They do such a good job. Whoever does the sound effects for Overwatch, good job, folks. All right, and after that, we have Yoon, who will be voiced by Caden tonight. Hi, my name is Yoon, and I play for Pantheon. My favorite sound is a Nano Mercy Vault, and then she did a smug Mercy emote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Mercy go pew pew pew. Get, get all the picks. All right, who do we have after Yoon? Hey, I'm Seraph. Uh, this is my third season in Harmony Tier and first season of Championships. Uh, and I'm from Flashbacks. And my favorite voice line in my uh, best Winston voice 
Did somebody say peanut butter? <laughs> that was pretty good. That was we've, pretty good. We've gotten that a couple of times this season. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. And next we have... Hello, I'm Icarus. Uh, this is my first season in Trank. Um, I would have to say that I come from Courage, obviously. I made the team. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'd say my ba- favorite voice line would have to be like when Genji blades, and then followed by... The Zenyatta Trance, the Xarya Grav, the Ryan Shatter, and everything else. So, yeah. Whatever, I whatever it takes to shut that down. Whatever <laughs> it takes. <laughs> and last but not least. Uh, hi, I'm Toxic Blade 47 or Toxic for short. I'm from Nocturnal, and my favorite sound in the game is probably Nano Tracer Pistol. Ooh, man, that 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 does go ber- very, very quick. So mm-hmm. I just want to let everyone know we are already at the 11 minute mark. So that's how tonight's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's how tonight's going, folks. So, <laughs> so Booth, oh my goodness. what is our Ooh. first question of the evening? <laughs> See, our first question, we're going to go down the list again and ask everybody here. Um, so one thing that we always like to kind of um, when we get dive a little deeper into some of our players is obviously we all care about Overwatch. We wouldn't be here, especially wouldn't make it as far enough into uh, the all star but um we're always curious to hear about like what's the history of the player in terms of gaming like what's other games they've been able to play in their lives what got them here what systems did they start on um so i think we probably start with a great uh first person to go with this when we got on list when we go up to npc who i've heard answer this question before and uh it's a fantastic answer all right i think i asked Uh, everybody this in the hall of fame last year i believe yeah yeah it was hall of fame uh so i uh i got started with gaming uh i was like five or six years old and my dad brought home the nintendo entertainment system and it had the cartridge that had mario brothers and zelda uh, or mario brothers and duck hunt on one cartridge then i also Mm -hmm. had the gold zelda cartridge oh dang yeah that was i mean i was the envy of the block man my friends would come over and and that just got me into gaming like it 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 brought people to my house and we gathered and my dad loved it because we weren't like out doing stupid stuff right <laughs> uh so you know i got into that and then you know i was a big xbox player i played a lot of halo halo 2 i was yeah. pretty good at that uh and then uh halo 4 disappointed me so badly that i sold the xbox yep. went to playstation <laughs> Uh, oh, and then that sucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they it was really that bad it. apparently <laughs> yeah uh so then i got to play all the playstation games and I, I i debated for a long time my daughter and i debated between battleborn and overwatch Ooh. and we went down to a GameStop, Ooh. and the guy was like you're gonna want overwatch so we bought it for playstation yeah. and we played it and uh and now uh i moved over to pc in uh, 2018 and i haven't looked back all right well, we are we are definitely glad. And how did you get started here at Tranquility? How did you find? Uh, idea? Oh, so well, I, I I actually had kind of a, I had a group of friends on PlayStation, but it was kind of a toxic environment, and I wasn't really enjoying my time there. Mm-hmm. So when I moved over to PC, I went to like you know one of those team finding websites and uh, exclamation mark Rufus in the chat. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> if um. You know, and, and so I look at those, you know, looking for team things, and I found a post by Cavalier. I joined the Discord, uh, and I was like, hey, I'm looking for, for a, a team, and uh, Gravity needed players that were, you know, right at 2000, and I was like 1890 at the time. So, uh, you know, I fit the bill because I lowered their SR so they could keep Orsted on the team. <laughs> season two i think a lot wow. of us found it because of those, those lft posts back in the day i just wow. saw one a couple days ago too actually yeah well we make a lot every every off season yeah goodness gracious well it's it's always and it's finally i am not the only boomer in here that's all i can yeah. say <laughs> usually i'm the one that says the nintendo gaming system <laughs> and that's it so nice to have you here, NPC. Going on to Sergio now. How'd you get started? Uh, well, the earliest memory that I have uh, from gaming was back in the good old year of 2000 when I had uh, my parents got me a PlayStation 1 and I had the Tarzan video game. And <sighs> I could not get past the part with those stupid elephants and i couldn't become <laughs> teenage tarzan i was solely stuck as tiny tarzan but it's fine it's fine and that, that was also my first moment of raging was when i couldn't become older tarzan 
Um, so I had the PlayStation One and a lot of just like random, you know, five dollar games off the counter. Uh, got into Nintendo products. Uh, come middle school and high school with the the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, the I went backwards in time. Like I didn't grow up with this stuff, but I went backwards and I purposely went out to game shops and online to find the old things that I missed out on that I didn't get a chance to mm-hmm. like uh, old gold and silver Pokemon um, fire red and emerald a very sad day this year. Rest in peace. My fire red cartridge finally died out on me. Oof. Rest in peace. Charmeleon. Um, <laughs> But then after the Nintendo products, then I grew up and became an Xbox person and was all in the Call of Duty, uh, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 on the competitive scene, the 3v3s, the the competitive sniping. I got into that and that's when I got into the competitive side of gaming and that that was something that I really enjoyed with my Xbox parties. And it wasn't until I was, and I stopped gaming because I enlisted, went to the Navy. Several years in, it was Vila. I think everybody knows Vila here, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Who, who's, who messaged me one day. He was like, hey, Serge, me and my brother just got this game. It's called Overwatch. It's pretty cool. Do you want to do, do join? And I was like, you know what? I'm off duty. I'm already getting drunk. Sure, I'll buy it. <laughs> <Thanks God." laughs> So Sounds like I, my time in the Navy, for sure. So, so, I joined, <laughs> so I joined in Season 3, placed Plat Lucio as a drunk Lucio player, and that's how I got into Overwatch. Uh, I wouldn't be in Overwatch if it wasn't for my friend Vila, and I wouldn't be in Trank if it wasn't for a combination of Vila, Captain Cat, uh, otherwise known as Unavailable at one point in her career, Godspeed OP and Jet Fuel. Those, the, those, my, my family, my brothers and sister, they, they got me into Trank because I was playing Overwatch just nonchalantly and I've enjoyed everything that Trank's been doing so far. It's really interesting, really cool. Awesome. Well, we're glad that your journey brought you to us, Sergio. Yeah. And Overwatch honestly came to me in a point in my life where I actually needed it the most during my transition out after my accident. Mm-hmm. I can definitely. So, that, and honestly, saved my life. Wow. That, oh. That's huge. I, and I mean, for, for anyone that, uh, if you have a vet in your life or not, uh, uh, whether it's medically related or not, transitioning back to civilian life is a is a huge thing uh, you you don't think yeah. it's a big thing but it it is it is like a complete culture shift it's like you're entering yeah. even though you still live in the states typically <laughs> it's uh yeah. you're, you're still in the country you search but it's like you you're in a different world if, yeah yeah it's 100 all right booth who do we got next well, first, uh, happy up to both of you. Happy thank you for uh, late Veterans Day just passed by us. Thank you both again for your service on that. But next, we go to uh, Lazuli. Um, uh-huh. from potatoes. Yes, sir. Um, so my first video game is probably uh, Ocarina of Time on the N64. Yes. Uh, nice. I've ever since I've been like a huge Zelda fan. I've played every game. I've beaten every game. Uh, that was that was my that was my series. I loved uh, Zelda, and then uh, I got a PC. I I never really played any shooters until Overwatch. I mean, I had like CS:GO and Call of Duty, but I was like, I played them so casually, I was so bad, so I didn't really, you know, invest much in there. And then I really started to get into Overwatch, and I picked Zen because I thought he was the coolest character, which I still think he is. Uh, I placed Plat. And I stayed plat for like a million years. <laughs> and then eventually I hit diamond on support. And then I hit diamond on tank. My TPS was basically non-existent for a long time. And then I kind of gave up on DPS. And I just kind of quit the game entirely for like a year. And then 
I, I got that itch again to play Overwatch, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to join another team. Uh, so I went on, I think, like, an Overwatch LF, LFT uh, subreddit, and I saw a, I saw a Trank post. And I, I don't remember if it was actually Trank who made the, the post, or if it was Fighting Potato specifically. But either way, the first team I saw that was offering a spot was Fighting Potato, so I just instantly tried out got in and then I uh, joined them and then the rest is uh, history wow that's awesome yeah, yeah. alright uh, Sensa I believe is up next for us here yeah Um. so my first ever uh, video game was actually uh, Lego Storm 3 on the Playstation 3 you know, I got that on my birthday by my parents. I love them so much, you know. Actually got me into video game games and stuff. Because uh, my mom used to be sort of a gamer. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I grinded the PlayStation 3 a lot. My uncle eventually gave me, like, COD and stuff. And uh, that really got me into FPS games and stuff like that. And then I tried out my uncle's gaming PC, which had Battlefield 3, I believe. And that really got me into uh, PC gaming. So, and then I got my own PC, um, and then I started playing TF2. I played that for like a few years until uh, this YouTuber called Star. He uh, mentioned this game called Overwatch, which I thought was pretty cool. And never heard. I, of. yeah, it's it's, it's kind of weird game, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry, my mom's calling me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I got the game Overwatch and bada bing, bada boom. I'm here now. How about that? All right. Um, I think then Bard is up next for us here That's to true. round out our last for arm. Uh, well, K. Oh, Caden's already answered. Caden, Caden got to answer. Yes. The US so, so for for <laughs> those folks that that don't know, some of these folks were in the end of season awards and answered these same exact questions so we're skipping them for tonight just to save on time but if you're interested in their answers be sure to go check it out it's still right here at youtube.com slash ow tranquility go ahead bard cool so i don't know what game i actually originally started with but uh my first console i say console in quotation marks because it was handheld but uh it was the game boy advanced and my first two games were super mario bros 3 and Pokemon Leaf Green, Ooh. Uh, and I'm I tend to say that Super Mario Bros. Three is my first game because it's the first one I beat of those two. Uh, but I can't remember which one I played first. Uh, and then I eventually got myself a PlayStation Two um, from my aunt, who gave it to me for for free because she's the greatest. Uh, and I got I had Star Wars Battlefront Two, which was my first mm -hmm. like shooter game. I grabbed some of the early Call of Duties, Medal of Honor. Uh, those ones got me to really love first-person shooters. Uh, and then eventually grabbed an Xbox 360, basically ran down the list the same way NPC did, playing Halo, playing um, COD, basically just running through things. Uh, and then I got a shitty <laughs> gaming, in quotes, laptop, um, which I used to play well over 2,000 hours of Counter-Strike Global Offensive on. Uh, and... At one point, I was very good at that game, despite how utterly terrible my setup was. Uh, and then eventually, the people I was playing Counter-Strike with, uh, I, I'd been playing like with them in competitive and like loosely on a team, quote-unquote, uh, moved over to Overwatch. I followed suit. Um, those people were OG commit, um, like half of them. Uh, and I was not nearly as good as them at Overwatch, which is evident. Uh, so they invite, they put a team together in Overwatch when I just played it casually, and then they said, hey, you should join this community that we're, our team is going into. We think you'd really like it. They have stuff for people who aren't as good. They were much kinder about it than that. They basically were just like, you're our friend. We want you in this community. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So you don't joined, need to remind me how bad I am, okay? <laughs> I joined the first team that offered me a spot, which was Boop in Season 3. Uh, and that's kind of how I got to Trank, but my history in Trank is is ever, 
ever expanding and oh yes even to me oh yes you, you exponential are... lore increase yep you are carving that path oh so well bart <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to skip a few because uh, they already answered in the EOS and move on to Narcissist. Uh, so I originally started out with Wii Sports. Good old Wii Sports. Woohoo! Nice. And over time, I just played like Mario and games like that. And I slowly swapped over to Xbox where I played mostly PvE games. And eventually, me and my friends decided to get a game and it was overwatch and yeah it was really my first like pvp game and eventually like they all got tired of it and i swapped to pc and um during that i watched found overwatch league and i went to one of the dallas fuel homestands and i got in the dallas fuel community which i found caden through that community and i got in met a lot of friends through that and through a lot of my friends from that community i found frank wow i always like the different paths that it it takes for us yeah. to get here that's so awesome so awesome All right. blue. who's next okay i think we go to cry next on indigo yeah okay so i started mainly on console as well i had like a GameCube, Wii, and like Xbox 360, and I remember I spent a lot of time uh, grinding Black Ops 2 zombies with my friends after school. Um, yeah, that's some good <laughs> stuff. And then eventually, my friends started to get like more into PC games, and a lot of them were playing League of Legends, so I picked up that, played it for a couple of years, dropped it, and took a, went on a break, but then. Eventually, on like one summer, my friends were like, "Hey, we need a sixth for Overwatch, and it's the free-to-play weekend." And uh, we were wondering if you wanted to join us. So I'm like, "Sure, I'll download this game and try it out." So I did, and I really enjoyed it. But I actually didn't get the game until like beginning or the near the end of Overwatch League, and kind of been down uphill uphill from there. Uh, that's also how I got into competitive Overwatch, I guess. That's where my interest for it came from. So I wanted to compete, like, I guess at the level, like, at, like, lower levels. So I tried out, I uh, played, like, a few seasons of GGNA. Uh, did okay in those. And then I took a break for school and then decided, you know what, I want to come back into competitive Overwatch. I really miss it. So I looked around, and uh, I don't exactly remember where I found Overwatch Tranquility Link. But I did, and I'm like, you know what? This community seems like really dedicated to what the like this community. So I'm like, I'll I'll try out for a team. I'll see how it goes. And yeah. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you. I know that we have quite a few teams, whether it be Harmony, Discord, or Transcendence, have uh, ties between here and GGNA or other uh, mm -hmm. kind of large competitive communities. So. Glad you found your way here. All right, uh, Rainbow, your turn to tell us your gaming history. Um, I already kind of answered this question before, so I'm going to try and keep it short. Um, I started as a console gamer when I was really little. I had the original Xbox, I had the GameCube, I had Game Boy Advance. Um, and from there, I continued my path in console gaming. I got into competitive uh, team-based COD for a while. And then from there, I made friends in college that invited me over to watch one of the first stream matches of Overwatch League. And I got super invested in it. I started going over to their apartment all the time so I could play on my friend's computer. And from there, I joined an open division team called Variant 9 that never saw competition we disbanded really quick um and from there uh i kind of gave up on overwatch for a little bit until i was uh until fishbowl the gm of paradise reached out to me before they had joined trank and asked me to fill an empty support spot on their team and then we joined trank in the middle of season four wow 
Yeah, I forgot we had that crossover with the Equity and Gaming episode as well. Uh, but uh, thank you for answering that. Uh, it's, uh, again, interesting ways how all of us uh, ended up in the same place. All right, Lexi, it looks like you're up next. Okay, so my first game, uh, there was actually like a time where Taco Bell gave out floppy disk games. In their kids' oh, meals. No yeah. way. <laughs> no way. You lying. You lying. Yeah, I had to Google this to make sure like it was a real thing and I wasn't losing my mind, but I used to play Moon Eater that Taco Bell gave me what? in a kids' menu. Yeah. I don't remember that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's huh. very odd. Um, on like a dial up internet computer, but it was good because it was a floppy disk and I didn't have to have like real internet to play it. That's true. And then I went I played some Xbox and Wii and stuff growing up, but my family wasn't, like, big into gaming. Then I met my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, who played video games, and he got me into PC gaming. I started out with Dead by Daylight and then went into Overwatch. Um, me and him broke up. Then I was playing Overwatch and met my current boyfriend, which is Jewish Missile, and he is the one who introduced me to Tranquility. Oh. I don't know. Season two main tank. Yes, your season two main tank. <laughs> yes. And um, I basically joined the first team that I tried out for. And yeah. And here you here. are. All right. <laughs> uh, one, two, skip a few. Move on to Seraph. All right. So I have a long history, but I'll keep it a little bit short as I can. Uh, I started out playing video games when. Uh, when I was five years old, I played uh, like games like Medal of Honor, Panzer General, Rayman, those those tiles on the old PS1 that my dad had. And I like gaming so much. Eventually, my parents got me a PS2, and uh, I started playing more shooters and everything else from there. Uh, I started to get into PC gaming. Uh, and my parents bought a uh, like crappy gateway computer with a windows vista on it and uh i put like tons of hours into that disney mmo uh pirates of the caribbean online oh and i was about yeah. ready to say toontown online yeah but... i also did that <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah but i put the most hours into the pirates of the caribbean online uh, uh doing that but uh i eventually transitioned over to playing on the ps3 and uh i got a lot into playing competitively on cod uh just working with a clan on the ps3 and playing hardcore hardcore team deathmatch non-stop oh yeah yeah <laughs> those original days uh -huh. wish i could have done on the xbox though that would have been cool but uh i got into better into tf Two actually was my first like true competitive uh gaming that I did. Uh I did lots of six v six and uh and Highlander on the UGC uh tournament bracket. And highest I got was like silver or gold. Then I went off to uh off to uh Verdun, that World War One game. There was actually a competitive uh game modes for that so that's kind of a weird stint but then uh i went to siege didn't really have much luck there and then uh i transitioned into overwatch i started on my first team at gold level uh playing uh support actually i transitioned uh over all three roles the whole time <laughs> and uh yeah, eventually after falling out of teams and not actually really doing anything competitive, I found uh, Boop for in the middle of Season 3, and I joined as oh. the yeah, off tank during the middle of that. Nice. Yeah. It was all... We didn't win any, anything too big, uh, Boop, but it was a great... <laughs> <thing. laughs> it's all about the learning should, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, learned, I learned a lot. And I, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, and I got a lot more involved in the community at that point. I played, I then applied as a DPS uh, to Karma, and somehow managed to get get on. I actually had a fun season with Takanam, trolls, everyone else. 
Mm. And then season five rolls around, and I tried out for many different teams. Uh, I eventually settled on flashbacks, and here we are now. And now you are a champion. How about Definitely. that? Yeah. All right. Icarus, you're up next. All right. Um, I guess the first video game I remember, like, ever playing. I don't know if anyone would remember this, but it was called Sly Cooper. The Thievius Raccoonus on Ooh, PlayStation 2. Mm-hmm. Used to be, mm-hmm, that used to be my favorite game. Uh, and so that was, that was the earliest game I ever played. But going from there, um, my first online game was obviously Club Penguin. Because, come on, you got to show respect to Club Penguin. That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, but then I started playing more online, um, going into like elementary school, middle school kind of thing. Um, so I, like when Minecraft first came out, I played that a whole bunch, and uh, that was my first competitive game, coming from survival games. Okay, if anyone played that, that was like top tier gameplay. You had you had to be the top of the top to win that game. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, but but realistically, my first ever um, actually fun fact: Minecraft was I got, got broken up with from a girl because of Minecraft. Anyway, <laughs> she she said I was a nerd. Anyway, it's all right. You're uh, better off. No who's laughing now? <laughs> who's laughing uh, now? I'm an all star. <laughs> Icarus is an all star now. <laughs> no, um, but so my first actual ever competitive like taste of the game was um, Counter Strike Global Offensive, mm. and I think I have like two thousand plus hours in that game. Uh, didn't make it out of silver, but uh, I still love the game. Um, but then my first ever like taste of Overwatch, I played it for about, let me say, an hour, uh, and then I kept getting solo shattered, and then I quit the game thinking it was really terrible, and then I went back to co- Counter Strike, and then I went back to Overwatch, and I completely got addicted to it. Um, and I, I think I joined my first team named Artemis. Uh, did open division with them. We got actually rolled by everyone on that team. Uh, disbanded, and then. Me and my uh, buddy Atlas, uh, shout out to Atlas, um, we made Courage about two years ago, and we just started uh, going about it, Trank being our first ever attorney besides Open Division uh, to join as a team. And nice. So now I'm here. Well, we, we know that season five was really rough on you because you came in the middle oh of it. But my we, are, God. We, are, <laughs> we are so glad to have you here. I'm sure that season six is going to be incredible for Courage. Hope that's helpful. All right. And Toxic. Uh, the first game I got into was I had the Nintendo 3DS, and I would play Pokemon. I think it was Pokemon X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. And I played that for a good few months before I got my first Xbox in 2016. And I got, like, two games with it. I got Overwatch, and I got Minecraft. And I played Overwatch on Xbox for like three years until I got my PC in 2019 of summer, summer 2019. Played that for, I didn't get Overwatch immediately. I got Overwatch like six months ago because I didn't really have any friends to play Overwatch at the time. So I didn't think to get it. And then I uh, started playing Fuel Pugs and Caden hosts Fuel Pugs. So I met her. No way. Caden does that? Yeah, she, she I'm blue. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I play. I played in her community events most of the time, and then I remember her talking about like an Overwatch Tranquility team. I got curious, so I ended up joining a, ended up joining or trying out for a few teams, and then yeah, that's how I made it to Overwatch Tranquility. Awesome. Well, that is quite the timeline of events we have from a whole bunch of people. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. We completely forgot to introduce the people that aren't here with us tonight. So my apologies yeah. that we made you wait 40 minutes before you could hear your name, folks. But um, I was going to wait till the end. I figured oh, we'd get it. We just, like, we, I mean... But we can't do their answers oh, yeah. if we don't introduce them. <laughs> so yeah, we have to point. we have to give their answers. So um want to introduce. We have, do we have to give Wits answers though? I mean, yes. you and I can see all of them right here. Do we have yes. to give them every time? Yes, we have to give them. Every okay, time. 
god. Because Wit wanted to be a smart Alex, so you mm-hmm. get you get what you paid for. All right. <sighs> so for Orem, we have uh, in the tank lineups a Sips Tea from Royals and Mister Yeti from Fighting Potatoes. From uh, supports, we have Wit Mitten from Modify. And um, Sweaty Asian from Void. And then for the Indigo side, we have from the tank lineup a Pog Champ from Pantheon. They are all not joining us this evening, but some of them have given us their answers. And you'll see why we, why Booth asked me about Whitman's <laughs> answers, because <laughs> many of them are uh, very similar. They're similar. They're yeah, very, very similar. similar. So. Uh, go ahead, Booth, uh, let us know which answers we have from those that are not, uh, with us tonight. Yeah, I'll save Whitman's at the end of suspense okay, for all fine. of us, but sure, I'll start with, fine. uh, so Sweaty Asian gave us an answer and said that the first game they played was Tetris. Um, didn't really get into FPSs until quite a while later. Overwatch was actually their first FPS game. Started out, um, bronze and open queue back in season 17. Eventually grinded that into mid-plat solo queuing, and they said in quotation and in quotes because I have no friends. Um, then they touched diamond. They wanted to improve and get back into diamond, so they wanted to play on a team where they could learn to improve, and that's when they got introduced to the Tranquility community. Um, and then Whitman gave us an answer stating Mercy Glocking, and that is it. Yep, that's their his- that's their that's history of gaming. History so, of gaming. And- Whitman woke up with a Mercy Glock in their hands. And that's why they're here. That's, that's. I don't know what I need, what I am to do, but I must no, kill. That that's it. That's all they gotta do, apparently. So, all right. Um, I feel like this next part is really important, although it might, still may take up some time because I think one of the biggest parts about tranquility is the fact that we always strive to improve. And so, mm-hmm. uh, this next question, starting again at NPC and working your way down. How have you improved as a player this season? As a player? Um, yes. I mean, I feel like I feel like in, you know, previous seasons with previous teams, we got stuck in roles and metas. You know, I had to play a lot of Orisa in season three, and I hated every minute of it, so I said never again. And uh, you know, I, just when I when I made get off my land in season four, I was just like, you know, this needs to be. We're just gonna flex. Where everybody's gonna play whatever hero they want to play, and doing so, you know, it it really deepens all of our appreciation for the other heroes. So we get better at DPS. We get better at support. Um, you know, and creating opportunities for other players. You know, you look at Thuggington who was playing support, 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 and then he played off tank for us, and now he's doing really well at off tank. So that's. Mm-hmm. That's something that, you know, you find when you start flexing roles is it makes you better at those roles, but then it also makes you better at your main role. And that it, it, it's it's true for me as well. I feel like I'm doing better all around as a player. Uh, and, you know, I don't have that big gap between my DPS and my tank. It's it's a much more narrow gap now. Awesome. All right, Sergio. Uh, in all honesty, just the brutal coaching tactics of Vila and his mentor <laughs> um, improved myself and many of the cats in JPC and uh, Vila kind of jumped around I know from coaching a bunch of people he went from he was on boop as a coach when I was on season three with boop and then when I went to DDoS season four I asked him if he could come coach us for a bit and then immediately after his coaching session, we won the next match after we were going O oh, and every point imaginable. Um, and then he coached JPC. And overall, just positioning and just a better understanding of what comms work in what situations. Because I always had the tendency to... Uh, uh, make call outs that didn't make sense or weren't necessary, or I was clouding comms with unnecessary conversation. Okay. Uh, so, like in, in in the when it's like quick play, or you know, we're playing Junkenstein or on a paintball or whatever those games are, uh, you know, just we shoot the shit, you know. But in the competitive scene, when we're in scrims, when we're in matches, I have a better sense of what needs to be said in what situation, in what situation X Y Z. You know, get it done, 
play to win at the end of the day. That's all it is. All right. Lazuli, you're up next. Um, um, so I feel like I've improved in two main areas. Uh, the first being like mental. Like I used to get super tilted in comp, like when I'd like solo queue and stuff. I'd get so boomed so easily. And then I started, you know, I joined Trank, started doing scrimming and stuff. And like, I, it's very rare that I like hard mauled like I used to. And I think that's a big improvement. Uh, I can play for longer now because, you know, I'm not rage quitting and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, I think that's a really good improvement that's going to help me just overall. And uh, second place I feel like I've improved the most is just like just straight up mechanics. Like I grinded the shit out of you know aim trainers and stuff, and my SR like skyrocketed. Wow. So I'm kind of proud of where I'm at. Almost, you know. It's it really was a, a big jump from when I started Trank, and then from now I I'm like like 500 SR up. It's kind of weird. Uh, but, honestly, that that's a common trend that we see around here, which I think is yeah. pretty amazing. It, it, it's yeah, nice I when just, you have a little guidance like that. Yeah, I put a lot of time into it. I, and I had, like, being in a tournament gives you like, kind of, like, a reason mm -hmm. to grind. Because, you know, you want to do good and you want to show up for your teammates. Don't want to let them down. So that, that just kind of added some extra motivation to, to you know, get better. Nice. So, yeah, that's it for me. All right, Senza, how about you? Um, I think what I improved on the most was actually like communicating with my team. Um, I would always like do stuff without like telling the rest of my team and stuff like that. I would put up like May walls as we grabbed on accident. Uh, <laughs> I was there, fuck you. <laughs> wall. Right. wall. Right. I would also blade on accident. Hashtag uh, Senza blade. Hashtag Senza blade. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would always, I always had this, like, carry mentality for some reason. I don't know why. I would, I would like to thank Vila for helping me kind of, like, destroy that mentality. You know, shout out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's about it. I, I can definitely feel that. As I've started playing with, uh, more people from Trank in just, like, competitive Overwatch, just, like, in, in the, uh, on the game... It's been so weird because I'm. There are times that I'll do call outs, but there are times that I'm just so used to being in lobbies with no one talking that I'll just also do my own thing. And so you forget that when you actually have a team behind you, you gotta let them know what's going on. <laughs> so if I wanna if I wanna do a sky shatter from behind the team, I should probably let them know that they're not gonna have their main tank for like. 30 seconds <laughs> and that i'm setting up a big play they need to clean up so uh that communication when you have a team like that is important and sometimes it's a hard habit to break so i can definitely agree with those uh those improvements uh bard i know that we did modifies interview but it was like back at the end of september so i would hope between now and your your grand finals run that uh there's been some improvements since then yeah, I play more heroes and I aim better. Next. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, Caden and Instante, you can see those answers over on the uh, the EOS Awards video. Narcissist, you're next. Uh, well, I've mainly improved on comms. I just, I always solo queued and just didn't talk to anyone and just kind of, I guess, in a way through because I didn't really pay attention to my team i just kind of went off on my own mm. as main tank and it didn't go too well but since joining trank i've learned to communicate and talk more and know how to play the game and i've gained i'm diamond now wow that that is huge improvements i love hearing about the harmony stories the harmony stories are some of the greatest because they're like these huge gaps of improvement it just it's just amazing what teamwork does all right cry you're up next so 
I think I improved mainly on comms. Like, uh, if you like at the beginning of the season, I barely calmed. I did like the bare minimum. So then from there, like I, I got better at alt tracking and it's like general callouts. Um, so from like the beginning of the season to now, <laughs> comms was definitely an improvement. Um, we had a saying on the team that the whole team had to turn up the support lines to 200% because no one could hear us. That might be because hmm. we had a loud tank line, but I'm just going <laughs> to say the supports didn't like to talk too much either. Um, but also just like general improvement on individual heroes as well, uh, thanks to my coaches. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. Rainbow. Um, I feel I've improved this season uh, because I've actually, for once, had dedicated coaching. Um, I've had plenty of time with people who play at a higher elo looking back at my VODs and telling me the things that I needed to focus on. And another just, like, joke that I like to make is uh, previously when I was trying to improve, I was watching people that were really uh, kind of try hard at the game. I watched a lot of ML7 gameplay, and then Oof. I started watching Sleepy, who does not give a single oh. fuck about the game. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I started improving. Yeah, I think I think sometimes we forget that that gap exists, and sometimes you got to take more baby steps than taking the large leap. It's like the discussion that we always have about the meta. Like, yeah, if you're if you're in transcendence tier, if you're up there in the uh, at, in the big ballpark of Owl and and all them, like yeah, you got to worry about the meta. But us down here, we we don't we don't really got to worry about that. We just gotta like be decent at the game. So <laughs> don't yeah, be don't no. be worrying about running meta comps down here. Doesn't really matter. I, <laughs> I think the biggest thing was just figuring out the difference between okay, am I playing this because I want to sweat, or am I playing this because at the end of the day I want to have fun? That's right, and that's what's important. Because you can do both. You can do both. What? No. Yes, I know. It's crazy. You could be sweaty tryhard, but you can also enjoy the game. And honestly, <laughs> if you don't do both of those, then why are you playing Overwatch at the end of the day? Honestly. If you're just being sweaty tryhard, it's not worth it. In my opinion. Uh, Lexi, you're up next. Um. Well, biggest improvement for the season is, like, I made friends. And I have people to play with now, so that's my win of the season, is I don't play alone all the time anymore. Hey, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. And that, and I'm sure the teamwork has helped you improve overall, because teamwork makes dream work. That's what I believe. All right, Seraph, you're up next. I think what really improved was, uh, you know, listening to like self feedback better, learning what I can do better and you know, <clears throat> learning to be to play more proactively as a DPS instead of reactively. Uh learning to take flanks and to uh take more risks and try to play make more. If that makes sense. It totally does. It totally does. Uh Icarus, how about you? <coughs> I didn't <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I'd say, like, the mm, probably being open to coaching or, um, like, just actively trying to learn more about the game is the best way i say I'd improve. Um, before I kind of, like, just queued up and went with it, and that's how I played. Mm -hmm. um, but just, like, learning more about the game itself and, like, different kind of ideas. Like, I actually, I to smugs, like, one time, and I, like, totally learned I was a terrible Genji player, and I was like, awesome, cool, okay, but like, I learned so much from just like that one thing, so just being open to coaching and learning uh, would probably be the best way I improved. Awesome. That is that, being open to new ideas and, and new ways of doing things and ways to improve is always a great way to get that skill up. Toxic! Uh, so when I started in Tranquility, I had only like three months of PC Overwatch experience, so, like, I wasn't very good mechanically, and I hadn't played on a team before, so my comps weren't the greatest. So, I think I've improved a lot mechanically on my tank, and uh, comm-wise, I've improved a lot, I think. So, yeah. 
Awesome. All right, for those that aren't here, uh, Sweaty Asian said, the thing I think I improved upon the most was with, uh, with coaching was my positioning. I feed less now, but me jumping off the map still tends to happen every <laughs> now and again, somehow. And then Whitmitten said, <sighs> Mercy Glocking. I couldn't have guessed. And that's it. So, <sighs> <laughs> so uh, next section we're going to move on to is actually going to be a relatively quick one. And I, I deemed this one the Chonkers because we're talking about all the biggest... Uh, biggest plays, biggest everything. Everything's going to be the biggest of something. And you all get to vote on what that is. So, starting up at the top with MPC and working our way down. Our first chonker question is, who of the All-Stars do you vote is the biggest Feeder. Oh, Bard. Easy. Easy day. <laughs> Easy day. All right, and I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be keeping a tally for everybody to watch. So Bard or I got the numero uno. Oh, let me center these sheets and let's move on to Sergio for the next one. It's a tie between Bard and Senza. You gotta pick. Okay. You gotta pick. No ties. No ties. Uh, one five. decision. Well, uh, season three was so long ago. I don't really remember playing with Bard that much. So yeah, sorry, Senza. But... <laughs> okay. Senza feed. <laughs> Senza feed. Okay. <laughs> All right. Laz. Laz. Oh shit! I don't know. Uh, you had these gonna, questions I'm ahead gonna, of time. I know. I know. Come I know. on. I'm. I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna go with myself because I don't want to be. Oh, rude, and I'm not so that nice. good at the game. So. This is going to be interesting. Found to have the end of this. To, listen, I can, <laughs> yeah. I can guarantee I'll be the biggest feeder by playing Doomfist. So that's true. <laughs> that Doomfist do be a feeder sometimes. All right, Senza. Most of you guys have seen my Doomfist. So, Laz, final answer. Very Thank well. you. <laughs> Supporting the Doomfist feed. Bard. So real quick, I just want to go back to what NPC said. When we played Gomal, I spent 90% of the game either behind them or directly above them on Farah, and it's still me as the biggest feeder. Very well. <laughs> All right. Caden. That's right. He, he, was, he was behind us. He was feeding. He was feeding. Yeah, and I think I had a record minimum deaths by playing exclusively behind the team. Hey, if they don't see you, then it doesn't matter, right? All right, Caden, you're up next. Who's the biggest feeder of the All-Stars? Me. I mean, you ain't wrong. Shift. Shift. Charge into the enemy. <laughs> you seen the comm checks where you hit shift too far, and then you get anti and you have to scream for bubbles or for someone to help That's you. Right. Oh, now we, now we get to, I messed oh, up. Now we I get messed some, up. <laughs> we, get, we get some other people that, that get to participate now. Instante, who's the biggest feeder? The our entire Orum team. <laughs> Man, I mean, I could count those wow. all up, but that's 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 not right. So you got to pick one. Just one. You got to no, pick one. one. You I stay one. with the Orum team. No, you got to pick one. I don't know who's one. I'm. Um, I mean, you know who's me. one. You you Hope know who's Laz. one. Laz, Laz is Zoom Fish Feeder. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All okay. right, this is this is not going the way I thought it was going to go. All right, Laz currently in the lead with three right now. Just <laughs> yes, saying. sir, all the dubs. All right, uh, Narcissus, <laughs> who's, the, who's the biggest feeder? I'm going to have to say Caden. He yeah. just charges way too much. Very well. Yeah. Yee. All right, Cry, who's the biggest feeder? Uh, Can I can I just say, like, all the tank lines? or? Nope, I'll pick one. <laughs> yeah, or... Nope, just, just one. Uh, That's uh, some good choices, though. I'll I'll, uh, I'll give it to Bard then. Very well. <laughs> even vote for the tank line? No, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, pick yeah. the EPS yeah. guy then. I can't pick <laughs> one. So I can't pick one tank, so I have to pick Bard. There we go. Understandable. That's reasoning. <laughs> All right. Um, da, 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 who do we leave off with? Uh, Rainbow. It should be Rainbow. 
Okay, I don't mean to jump on the bandwagon, but none of my teammates are in here with me, and Bard is one of four people I know, so I'm voting Bard. Bard is Thank now you. in the lead with four points. Oh. Lexi! <laughs> I mean, how close is Laz to Bard? Just Can one I point. Just one point. Okay, okay, I'm going to vote for Laz to tie it up. Tie it go. up, there we go. <laughs> it's a competition for biggest feeder. All right, Yoon. All right, uh, Yoon's answer was, um, do, 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 do. uh, biggest feeder would be myself. I don't call out things, and I know that lost my team fights and maps to all season five Pantheon players. I'm sorry about that. Dang. Heart. I was Aww. really going to call out the fact that every vote was for an Orum teammate until Yoon broke it. Dang. Wait. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm just saying every vote every vote has been on Orem so far. I'm just saying it until you <laughs> wait a second. Seraph, how about you? Lucio players. Uh no. you oh. gotta pick one. We got no, quite a few yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> uh Bard. Bard indeed. Wait. Bard takes <laughs> the lead point. again. No. Alright. Icarus. I had a I had an answer before, but now I really like this competition. Um, I don't know if I have the power to give Laz the lead or just tie, tie it up. or Bard the the, the takeaway win. Oh, no. Um, so I keep it interesting. I'm gonna give it to Laz. Very yes. well. All oh, right. Thank you. Laz ties it up. Toxic. Rufus, stop. Uh, what are the current votes between Laz and? I'm Bard? not giving to you. You should have been paying uh, attention. All right. Uh, You're tied up. Tied. Uh, uh, too much pressure. <laughs> I feel. And then I think I'm I mean, third. I'm the biggest leader. <laughs> Oh goodness I'm gracious! Oh no! Yeah, oh, self High five. So toxic, toxic has given themselves <laughs> the vote, and now we have Stop another one on Indigo. All right, and uh, before we get to the rest of them, we had a recent addition. It looks like uh, Sweaty Asian has joined us. How you doing tonight, Sweaty Asian? Uh, good. I just came back from practice. I'm tired. I'm, I'm sorry that you're tired, but you're here for the fun stuff, at least. So, uh, we are currently answering who of the All-Stars is the biggest feeder? So, would you like to go with the answer you gave me, or with a different answer? <laughs> well, um, Toxic Blade is, uh, staying in chat, but I'm gonna still stick with my answer and go with Bard. There you go. All right. So Bird gets mm -hmm. six, nice. and then our we, we have two no! more, we have two more mail in votes. We have to yep. we got we got our mail in oh, votes. Oh. All yeah, votes no, count. I demand a recount. No. All I demand votes a count. Recount. I demand a recount. Nope, we don't no. have a recount yet until we actually get them in here. Right. Take right. it to court. So from Sips T, I haven't played with any of them very much, so I'll have to go with the generic meme answer. Ha ha, Bard fee. No, that's number seven, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then Whitmitten. Of course, said Bard. So Bard oh, walks away oh, with ah, eight votes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a majority of the votes going to the Orem side. So, folks, when you're watching the All-Stars, you know who to look <laughs> out for now. So yeah. uh, we're going to go ahead. Let me go ahead and erase these and Booth move us on to our next yes, big yes, chunk. Yes. So this one's a little bit of an inverse here. So we'll go back up to NPC at the top, and we're going to ask everybody, who is the biggest carry? Oh, the biggest carry? Yoon. Yoon. Are we going to start seeing Indigo side fill up this time? I'm just saying. Mm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sergio, who do you got? Well, I haven't really played with anybody except for Bard way back. Senza and Rainbow for a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say Senza only because it, it's a two parter. He oh, feeds, no. but when he feeds, it's tactical and he actually pops off. Tactical feeds. Thank you. So he carries he carries when he feeds. He just dies at the end. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Okay. All right, Lash. Who do you have? All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to go with uh, Sensa because right. uh, I've with him a lot. I've seen what he can do. Uh, Indigo, uh, it's Chi Chi. Sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, it's my turn. Um, yes. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm stuck between two. Two hit scan players specifically. Um hold on. Let me flip the coin. Oh, it's geez. heads. Geez. You were flip supposed to prep this answer. It's heads. <laughs> it's heads. Uh, okay. Uh Laz. Very well. How about Laz? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh Mr. Bard. Me, obviously. Next. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> unbiased Bard is unbiased. <laughs> Okay, Kate. Oh, Rufus, stop. Rufus, Rufus, Rufus is Rufus the Rufus is not an answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say Yoon because I've nanoed her in fuel cord pugs on Torb to watch her just overload, pop out the hammer, and get multi kills, and it's amazing. <laughs> All right, so who was that for again? Sorry, I missed it. Yoon. That was for Yoon. Yoon. Sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to keep a, I'm trying to keep my chat clear so it doesn't interrupt the feed and everything else. It's just got a lot going on over here. All right, who we got next? <laughs> the sweaty Asian next. Um, I'd probably go to Sips T. I've seen the montages in the plays. You know. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Okay, Instante. You you's gonna carry Indigo. I can't Your count. own team, we want to point out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Narcissist. I'm going to have to go with you near. Oh, man. I don't think Bard's getting the back to back this time. No. Cry. Uh, I'm going to go with my boy, Seraph. All right. The Sheriff Seraph. gets a point. All right, Rainbow. Uh, I'm going to pick Instante. And Stante is an intimidating Reinhardt. That's right, fatty shatties. Yeah. And Lexi. Um, I'm gonna go with Instante as well. Ooh. Then Yoon's turn. Yoon says Rufus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yoon says uh, the biggest All Star carry would be Lexi. Her support is insane and always yeah. heals me when I feed. Her incredible support play is one of so many fights. Also, she gives me lots of nanos and scrim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Seraph. Gonna have, I'm going to have to say Cry comes in clutch with the E key during games and scrims. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Icarus. <laughs> sure. All right, Icarus. Uh, I'm probably going to have to say Instante as well. Ooh, man, we're getting close to a tie here. Okay, and Toxic. Uh, I think the biggest carry is Instante. He's a great Reinhardt player. Ooh. Now we got to go to the mail-in votes. That's, uh, currently, that's Yoon right. and Instante are tied four and four for the biggest carry. Ooh, so what do okay. what do the mail-in votes say? Okay, well, we'll start with Sips T. Um, they answered Sensa, said scrimmed them the other day and it was just unfair what the man does to people. Alright. <laughs> um, and then for Whitman, now this is going to make it very interesting, they voted for themselves. Wow. <laughs> so I think I think, I think, I think, I see, I think, I think it's time to... I see, I, see, I see a theme between Far Mercy pairs, I'm just saying. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I... Since Booth, it's your question. I feel like you have to be the deciding factor. Uh, no, no, I'm the moderator for the question. Oh, I so, look to the so audience that, should be so you. No, well, I have to be the. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Why you got to hold on? If it makes it easier. You are you are putting me between two incredible. You're putting me no, literally I, I between an a idea. wall and I have a an bullet idea. right now. Uh, I have an idea. Give me heads or tails. Uh, flip, flip, a flip a coin. Flip a coin. Tails. I'll flip a coin. Uh, Tails was Yoon. All right. Me. Like, you, you, that's such an impossible answer right there. Like, Yoon getting dinks for days, and Instante, the fattest shatters I've seen in Harmony. Like, that that would be... I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it, folks. Hey, as uh, as we say on the podcast, both well-deserved. Yes, both incredibly, <laughs> incredibly well-deserved. I mean, no, no, none of these people would be here if they if they were not good at their trade. That is for sure. All right, mm -hmm. so it looks like Yoon will walk away as the biggest carry from the All-Stars. So let's go ahead and clear our sheet, and we'll get started one more time. The next question is, who on the All-Stars is the biggest PMA? Who has the greatest positive mental attitude? 
Starting at the top with NPC. It's got to be Caden. Uh, she gets teabagged so much at Target <laughs> in, in fuel pugs. Just like, there's just so much. And oh uh, she just she just loves every minute of it. Uh, oh it's, it's, it it'd be impossible to, to, to not tilt, but she pulls it off. Oh, Caden. Oh, man. Caden it is. All right. Uh, Sergio. <laughs> Uh, I would have to say my new homegirl, Rainbow. Uh, just playing with her for the few past few days. She's got a good head on her shoulder. All right. Uh, Lazuli. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to go with NPC. Because, uh, you know, I've seen him on the podcast. I've tuned into his streams every once in a while. He's uh, seems like a great dude. Lucky to be on his team. Hey. All right. Sensa. I'm going to pick Yoon because she's cool. Yoon indeed. Bard. Uh, Well, I was going to... I, I would have said Yoon or Rainbow, but Yoon is really hard on herself, and I've played long enough with Rainbow to know that uh, she tilts. So... <laughs> Uh, it's okay because I'm most of the reason why she tilts, but it's fine. Uh, so I'm going to go with hey. Instante because uh, he was, he is like 80% of the reason Modify is uh, like keeps their head up when things get rough, okay. to be honest. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with him just because I have the most experience with him being a PMA. All right, Caden. I just want to point out that Bard admitted that things sometimes get rough for Modify. Um, <laughs> so uh, I was going to say NPC because every time I've seen him like on the podcast, on his streams, and then just interacting with him um, in the community and um, also with Fahrenheit stuff, he's always just very level-headed and, um, you know, just like chill guy to, to be around. All right, that'll take us on to Sweaty Asian. Um, to be honest here, I haven't played it with a lot of these people, but um, I'm gonna go with Yoon. I've never heard her talk, so I know you can't be toxic if you just don't talk. Oh, <laughs> I mean, for for those that have, uh, they might counter that. <laughs> uh, but but Yoon is indeed a sweetie, so. Moving on now, Instante. Toxic Blade. Not really toxic at all. You should change it even to Cheer Blade. Aww. That would be so nice. sweet. All right. Cry. Why do uh, we have people, like, leaving and coming back? This is really uh, screwing up my chat, Discord man. Discord really Discord keeps messing it. them around. Oh, yeah. not Discord. Not Discord Narcissus issues. Discord is messing before, it up. Before Narciss uh, crashes again, real quickly. Narciss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go before we go. <laughs> biggest PMA? Um... Probably toxic. Toxic. Got it. Yeah. All right, you can crash now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I keep, I keep looking at the screen, and it keeps shifting, and I'm like, stop it! Knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to say Caden. Um, All right. Caden gets another one. Man, it is just even across the board here, folks. All right. Good vibe. Uh, Rainbow. Okay, this is a tough one. I've played with both Sergio and Instante, and they are both very positive people, but for this one, I'm going with team environment, Ooh. and I'm going to pick Instante. All right, man. Like I said, everybody's evening up here. All right, Lexi. Uh, I haven't played with, like, half these people, but I'm going to say Yoon, because, like, I'm been on her team all season, and... Not a bad word. <laughs> bad word. <laughs> not, not a bad one. All right. Not a bad word. How about you, Yoon? Oh, sh um, <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Caden. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the biggest PMA all-star would probably be Lexi. She always stays calm and encourages Aww. the team when we lose fights and maps. Her jokes always make me smile, and she's like an older sister to me. Oh. Everyone, oh. Oh. She just called you old. Oh. <laughs> wow. GG, get ripped. 
Dang, somebody knew how to derail that one. All right, Sarah. <laughs> uh, I'll pick a, I'll pick Instante for this one. All right. Instante and Yoon again in the lead right now. Icarus. Uh, so I haven't really played with anyone here uh, yet, but um, I'd say just in general for being a, like a positive person, I'd have to go with Yoon. Yoon uh, like, replies to my Twitter and it's like the only like reply I get, and I always look forward to it. So I'd probably Aww. say you. <laughs> All right, Toxic Blade. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kaden because whenever I play comp with her, if they have a toxic person on the other team, she's never toxic back, and just laughs at the toxic person because it's funny. <laughs> Kaden, funny. are you even yeah. playing Overwatch right? If you're not toxic back, come on. Come I on. I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like oh they're so mad <laughs> all right well you all can see on screen this was incredibly close for a lot of people but at the very last minute yoon came ahead so not only is yoon the biggest carry but also the biggest positive mental attitude so as i clear the sheet booth go ahead and take us on to our next one okay so um for this one we're gonna might your previous answers might affect this one, but you got to decide here who is the best duo partner. And we'll start again the with bestest, NPC. The bestest. Bestest. I'm sorry. Bestest. Got to go to the duo top. Partner. We're all, we're yes. all big. All big. Go home. So the most bestest. Extra most bestest. So the person, the person that I would want to duo with. You mean? Yes. The yes. Best duo yes. partner for me. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. That's that's gonna be a tough one. I'm. I, I, gotta, I gotta go with Rainbow. Uh, just the support, the Ana plays what? are just fantastic. Wait, NPC picked me. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm. Shocked. I'm a tank player. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta appreciate my supports. I want to duo with a support. Yeah. I don't want to duo with a DPS. That's that doesn't work for tank players. Oh. You also don't want to duo with another main tank. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, and we all have main tanks here. We only main tanks. Yeah. Except for six, we have six, to six pause for a second. Oh my gosh! I completely forgot. We forgot the mail-in votes. Every vote counts. Oh, oh no. We forgot the mail-in uh, votes. Uh, All right. So the election's rigged. The election was rigged, oh but God. I have an undo button, so I can take it back. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> uh, so Sips T voted for a biggest PMA. NPC, no question. Man plays on Gomal and is a tier director and deals with admin stuff and streams. I don't know how he does it. So that is a vote for NPC. And then he does it by taking his vitamins. That's right. It's right for NPC. Always, <laughs> always about those vitamins. And then Whitman said, uh, "Yoon or Instante." So, uh, mm. man, again in a very tight position here. Because if I tie it up with Instante, that means you have to choose booth. But so I put, I put a coin, coin flip again. ready to go. You you choose this the side this time. Okay, um, flipping, flipping, flipping. It give me heads, which was Yoon. All right, so Yoon uh, does indeed get that PMA as well. Apologies, everyone, for yeah, that. Twice on Instante Look getting at, hit. The coin, at, not the coin. The odds aren't in your favor tonight. My goodness. All right, so uh, <laughs> going back, Rainbow had one point from NPC because you need that good support behind your big tank players beautiful all right on to sergio uh it's kind of the opposite of what npc was saying i would 100 percent want a dps to, as my duo partner mm -hmm. senza always calls for my blades Woo! he's like ready 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 i'm like ready 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 and he dashes up and he's like senza blade but then <laughs> but then nobody but then dies was, yeah he <laughs> dies and then i hear oh shiba oh shiba and then <laughs> <that's it. laughs> okay <laughs> That, that best duo, the one that is like, I'm ready. Oh shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were ready. All right, uh, Les. All right, so I think uh, the person I do with here the most anyway is Sensus. So I'm going to go with him. And we played, We played fucking tank duos before we got here. And we went like, what was our record? You did your placements right? Uh, four and we one. were like four and one. So yeah, we just easy games, easy life. Yeah. Um, 
my answer is probably obviously is probably going to be last, you know. Uh, we just absolutely fuck the Overwatch ladder, you know. <laughs> we, we we only take dubs. Easy clap. Oh, man. Uh, I, I feel like your Trank season would not agree with you, but nevertheless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say it. Say it. Hey, we, we, hear, we hear it. Overwatch hey. Tranquility. Always love you building yourself up, but sometimes we got to take you down just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> it's dubs only. As soon as he takes it out, it's over. Oh, goodness. All right, Bard, you're next. Uh, well, as a far man, anyone who plays support. Bard. Well, there's not... Anyone's not a player, one. so... Anyone who one-tricks Mercy is what he means. I am I am not picky when it comes to duo partners as long as they play support. But uh, I think I have the most duo time with Rainbow, so I guess I'd say Rainbow. I mean, wit is still part of this conversation. I'm just saying. Sure, but... right. <laughs> All right. Nah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, wit. Get wrecked, wit. <laughs> All right. Who do we got next, Booth? That's Caden. It's me. Um, I've never duoed with anyone in here, but I have played in groups with some people. Um, so I'm going to say for a duo partner, um, I'm actually going to pick Narth because I know, I know he's tank and I'm a tank. But I would play Ana and then just enable his mm. now diamond tank play and finally maybe possibly get out of the limbo of 2,500 jump roping. That, that, that is an interesting place to be, isn't it? I hate it so much. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. So radiation. Okay. So, um, I'm a DPS player by nature. Mm -hmm. Outside by league, I never touch support. So um, if I had to choose a duo partner, it's going to be a support player because I'm a DPS. So I'd probably go with Lexi. I played with uh, her a couple times. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, who's next, Booth? I believe we have Instante next. Yeah, I'm going to, I've been pocketed by Rainbow before, so I'm gonna say Rainbow. Ooh, Rainbow getting all the love tonight. All right, narcissist. I'm not sure if this is working well. My phone now, but um, we can hear I'm you. Gonna, You're I've, here. I've only played with him once, and it was in a tryout. But I'm gonna have to say Sips T. Ooh, yeah. Sips is doing amazing. She does really good with those bombs for sure. All right, uh, cry. Um, so I haven't really duoed with anyone here, but I'm going to go with a DPS and say Sensa. Woo! All right, now it's the ra the Rainbow Sensa battle now. All right, <laughs> Rainbow, you can easily put yourself in the lead here. I'm just saying. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> can Can you duo with yourself? Of course. Oh, okay. yeah. I have three. I it, it is always an option to vote for yourself. It's just a huge dick move. Um, well, let me we say call it a bard move. Oh, yes. A bard <laughs> move. My apologies. As much as I love to have a solid main tank as a duo partner and as much of a weenie as bard is, um, I'm going to have to pick Sergio because Sergio can solo heal while I'm playing the flank son. Oh, yeah. Hoggers, <laughs> Lexi, <laughs> love you, Rainbow. Okay, oh, so I haven't I duoed with this partner before. I don't even think I've played with this person. I've played against them though, and I feel like I could enable their shift play. So I'm gonna go with Caden. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Caden. Now you got a duo. <laughs> All right, Yoon. Oh, Yoon says, I was right this time. <laughs> Yoon says my all-star duo would be the Sigma God Toxic Blade 47. He's Ooh. always so nice to me and is fun to be with. All right. One vote for Toxic Blade. Seraph. Uh, I'm going to say Senza. Why not? All right. Senza takes the lead. Icarus. Um, Probably have to go... Uh, Sorry. Uh probably have to go with 
Say that one more time. You cut out just a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I'd probably have to go with Lazuli. Need a All correct right. hit scan. That is true. That is true. And Toxic. Uh, my Probably my best duo here. I've only dueled like one time ever in comp. It's probably with Yoon. Uh, she's a cracked hit scan player, and I know that I, I always have a good DPS whenever I'm playing with her. Aw. All right. Father. All right, Booth. What do we have for the um for the mail in votes? Mm -hmm. All right. So Sips T. We'll start with with her. And Sips T. Said um said that they're not sure. They haven't got to do it with anybody on the list. But they said, um, someone please main tank for me. I need a duo partner. But then they picked Yoon because they said she is nice and I still owe her a duo. All right. Um, and at the tiebreaker um, goes to Whitman who said Mercy Glocking. Which, which isn't an option. So I guess I guess <sighs> Whit forgoes their vote. This is this is why voter fraud. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, it's, it's, not, it, it's I like a write-in. Oh it's a write-in for Mercy. <sighs> so, so I guess I'll give it to Whitman because honestly, the only, the only. So Whitman would obviously want to duo with another Mercy. We're thinking mm -hmm. no limits here. If Mercy's, if Wit's Glocken wants a wants Wait. a pocket Mercy to power boost that Glocken. So, uh, definitely. Oh, you get an echo. Ex see, you get an echo. echo. Oh, the other hey. There you go. And Pockets the other mercy for a whole fifteen yeah. seconds while <laughs> while the mercy <laughs> Valkyries. That, Truth that's comes amazing. out. Bard should have played Echo the whole season. See, there you go. <laughs> Enable your enablers, folks. All right, and the final total <laughs> brings us to Sensa walking Let's away go. as the best duo partner with four votes. Uh, but lots of love all over the spectrum, folks. Lots of yeah. love for a lot of these players tonight. Uh, so our last one, and probably, honestly, the most important question that we're going to ask tonight for our for our Chonkers round is, who is going to receive the largest percentage of tea bags after getting killed during the All-Stars match? NPC. <laughs> Bard. Easy. All right, Sergio. Bard, no doubt. Lazuli. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Yoon because she's popular. Oh, I see, I thought we were going to have a chain going here. No, sorry. <laughs> Sensei. I wrote it. Uh, Bard. There we go. Uh, Bard. The thing is, you have to kill me to teabag me. So uh, it's gonna that's, be, that's, wow. pretty wow. that's pretty easy. Wow. It's gonna be me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. but, uh, All right, no heels. I, I, I will be contrarian and not say myself and oh, just say okay. the person that I am going to teabag the most oh, okay. uh, is going to be whichever hit scan I'm playing against. I think I'm playing against Yoon more often, so Yoon. All right, ooh, we got a got a fi final battle going on right here. Uh, moving on to Caden. So I need the Orem supports to not heal Bard and also Bard. I just want to point out of all the Orems, most of the votes have gone to Bard so far. That's what you're working with, Bard. All right. <laughs> <It's Dante. laughs> Everyone's going to teabag him. It's going to need to be censored. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> Nark, you with us? Yes, uh, Bard. Bard. <laughs> Cry. Uh, no question, Bard. Rainbow. Absolutely no question, Bard. I just want you to know I have my finger on the next key because I know what's happening. Lexi. <laughs> Get your finger off the next key. Ooh. <gasps> I'm gonna go with Sensa, because if you sleep in Nana and Genji, you have to do Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yoon. Oh, right. Yoon says, um, I don't like seeing people get teabagged, so you can teabag me if you want. Yoon, why are you so nice? <laughs> That's like so nice the most here. wholesome answer to a question that's so unwholesome. Uh, Sarah. <laughs> the far one trick himself, Bard Overwatch. 
Bard Overwatch, <laughs> indeed. Icarus. Overwatch Bard, actually, but it's okay. Your Honor, I have an objection. <laughs> okay. So, sweaty Asian got skipped. Oh, did they? My apologies. Sweaty Asian. Rigged. Um, Bard just saying, as your support, I'm definitely going Zen, so uh, good luck, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Bart it is. I mean, I already had Sweaty Asians vote anyway because they possibly weren't going to be here. So just saying, not rigged. All right. Uh, who are we on? Icarus? Seraph? I forget. Uh, Icarus, yeah. Um, I'll just say once I get the opening pick on Bard, and uh, keep him. All righty. And Toxic? <laughs> uh, Bard. Wow. No questions. So, Bard, remember that track that I said that you were making here in Tranquility? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're doing, uh, we're doing and, no limits Rialto, and you guys think you're gonna be able to find me? That's what's funny. So yes, I, I believe I can. So so now we have the mail-in votes. A sips T mm -hmm. also says Bard, um, and then duh, sorry, Bard, duh, and then Whitmitten said Mercy Glocking, which of course means Bard. <laughs> so uh, in an overwhelming amount. Uh, Bard takes away the member of All-Stars largely to receive the most teabags during the All-Stars match. So folks at home, be sure. Well, actually, the All-Stars match already happened, so you should go back and look at it and see if they were right. Did Bard receive the most teabags? And if not, then we'll have to start this podcast all over again. Just joking! All right, so that finishes up our chonkers. Hope that was a little fun for everyone at home. Now we're going to get back into a couple of uh, uh, serious questions and uh, just kind of run our way down the list one more time. Uh, Bard, or Bard. Booth, you have the first uh, question. We said Bard so much tonight, it's like repet uh, repetitive in my first mouth. Mr. First Mr. Yeti did it to me, now Sorry, you Sorry, I didn't I didn't do it on purpose. Damn. We've literally said Bard like 20 times in the last I'll, minute. I'll, I'll let it slide. <laughs> okay, so our next questions are going to focus on kind of recapping season five, thinking back a little bit about things, thinking forward. Um, so the first thing we're going to start with, again, back at the top, is what's your favorite memory of season five and NPC? Ooh, season five favorite memory. Uh, I, I really enjoyed playing games. I think I think my favorite memory, maybe my worst memory, I don't know, was the time Get Off My Land lost to a team with a bot. Uh, <laughs> they were... <laughs> They were about to forfeit the match. They were like, well, two of our players can't make it, so we've only got five, so GG's, we forfeit. And I was like, no, no, please, play with the bot. At least you get to play, you know, whatever. They put a hard soldier in there, and he just destroys our team. And <laughs> it was just so ridiculous. Slipstream, they had a bot, and they still won. But we had a good time, so that was that was, that was a fun memory. Oof. That's all I got. Wow, most that's teams like got. force them to do like a hard Lucio bot or something. The hard soldier bot, that's nothing to scuff at. That's no, a. No. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, that's hard. I mean, you, with. you literally gave the bot aim bot. <laughs> like... Yes, yes, I, I know. And, and we, we didn't see in the rules that it had to be Lucio. It could be literally anything. So uh, I think season one, a team had a hard Reaper bot at one point. So oh. it's, uh, it's, it's not yeah, in the rules that it has to be a Lucio. It could be anything true. you want. True. True. And back during season one, though, that was kind of a throw to be playing Reaper anyway, from what I remember the metas being like. <laughs> All right. Sergio, how about you? Mm. What's your favorite memory of season five? Uh, it, <laughs> favorite memory that started off as a nightmare. Uh, GMing for a week when uh, JPC's GM was out for a bit. Uh, I had to organize a scrim for my first time. I was scuffing the whole night. Then we had one of our DPS not show up, and I was, ah, I was like, okay, I could fill, uh -huh. but, uh, but I, I can't fill. I can't fill DPS. So the secret was, I was like, you know what? What's the most carry character? Should I go Torb? Everybody was like, yes, and we full held Hollywood and immediately capped Hollywood on attack as my Torb as I popped off and got play of the game. First time picking up Torb ever. Wow. I, I mean, it's it's not a hard sell. 
No, I mean no, the it, turret does not. most of the work for you. I'm just yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would know because I play Torb a lot. That was the first question. I, that was the first question I asked the team. Where do I put the turret? <laughs> Anywhere you think it doesn't belong, that's where you put it. <laughs> All right, Laz, you're up next. Uh, favorite memory, probably event week with the charity. Mm, that uh, was a big one. A lot of cool stuff went down. Uh, I I got to do the uh, the Widow One v One tournament. That was really fun. I I mean I inevitably lost to Dwayne, mm -hmm. who won the whole thing, but it was still very fun. You know I. I beat two people to get to where I was, and despite you know kind of getting knocked out, I still had a really fun time, and uh, it was just it was just a fun time all around, just in general. Nice. So I say event week is my final answer. All right, that, that's a good choice. Got had a lot of those this season. All right, Senza. Uh, does the preseason count? I mean, it's part of the season, isn't it? All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard World against Nocturnal, right? Mm -hmm. They're all in spawn. I accidentally press Q. Uh, <laughs> ah! <yeah>. Classic. <laughs> right. Classic. Um, First with, Senza yeah. Blade ever. Mm -hmm. I think they even had the I think they even had the like the observer camera over top of you, yep. like talking <laughs> about how the blade for this next site was gonna be so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh you got oh. master curse. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ooh. that was Dor and Moxie casting that one. So you oh got Contenders Caster God. Curse, which is like even twice as bad. Yeah, that's gotta that's gotta be the worst right there. Oof. See, I I thought the first clip that I ever saw of it was late. Oh well, no, I guess that's right. It was on was preseason. That's right. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Goodness gracious. All right, who do we got next, Booth? Um, so we go to Bard next, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm just going to say every escort map pre finals, um, because we didn't lose a single escort map until the grand finals against flashbacks. And there was only one team that took us past point a on any escort map pre, wow. pre grand finals. So modify had a tradition of getting, we almost exclusively started on defense and we got like really jokingly toxic to each other every time the defense would end and i have like 14 or 15 clips of just one of us on the team going wow it's really going to be really cool when they introduce point b on escort maps or something like that like every every week we get a good laugh just at the stupid like none of us are genuinely toxic but we just find something to say on every escort map and i'm going to really miss that next season call the control <laughs> Got, got to rein you back in for season six. All right, Caden. Uh, favorite memory? Yep. Um, shit, I didn't expect to have to answer this one because I it's thought it's all right. I no, I know we did EOS, but uh, if it's oh. changed, because it was a couple weeks ago, maybe you got a new memory. Well, we got eliminated. I haven't played at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, more happens in season five than just your team, Caden. All right. <laughs> My favorite memory from season five. Um, you know what? I'm going to say it was doing uh, when I was doing comms checks videos. And I remember watching back one of the podcasts. And I don't remember. No, it wasn't the podcast. It was it was the char uh, charity event. And um freaking thug had that just amazing scream during I think, oh, like yes. the may 1v1s and i was just like i need this content for, for contract. <laughs> and, and so now it's that, everywhere. that was good so i was able to get that scream and then um mix hooked me up with uh that just like ridiculous picture of him that i threw on a couple other context videos amazing and yeah that, that was that was a good one that Qual was a good one quality content from caden always mm -hmm. always all right sweaty asian um favorite moment from season five um mm -hmm. some of you guys might remember but um i totally did not accidentally jump off the map during a game during against the hoi jalapenos of course not. <laughs> on icon world so uh, no. yeah that was an interesting experience yeah. it's just a tactical reset no big deal 
All right, Instante. Uh, what was it? Favorite memory. When yeah, when whenever Mitch screamed in match, those were best times. Like he was just he, when here he just like last words to hold the point to get the most points or the time on it, or whenever he screamed after getting a one v one kill. <laughs> All right, Narcissist. Uh, mine was really my one good play all season, and it was a modified Rialto, actually. I got a flank shatter off and killed four. So that was fun. How about that? All right, Cry. Uh, my favorite memory is probably from stage two, week one. Uh... Feature match against Pantheon. Uh, sorry, unit advance. Uh, they ran <laughs> Bastion comps against us for Eichenwald and Junkertown. And then uh, we finally pull it out on Junkertown attack the one time and just roll them. I'm, I'm sorry, Pantheon players. <laughs> but that was uh, fun to run it back against them. <laughs> no heals for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Rainbow. All right, I'm going to apologize in advance because I have two. The first one was, uh, I'm sure as all of you can recall, Ultraviolet was very scuffed this season. Uh, through most of stage one, we went like all losses. And then we played Boop. And the Boop game was so close, it came down to the third point on Oasis. We took it to, we took it to a... Uh, Map five. Yeah, we took it to map five. And uh, we both had the point 99, and the whole team was screaming because this was our make or break moment. Like, we were either going to go complete losses across the board, or we were going to go into stage two with one win, and we managed to clutch it. Nice. My second one. My second one was our featured match against Venom Cheese, where we were on map four for exhibition, and Focum goes up to the enemy spawn and he accidentally emotes on monkey ah oh, that's right <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting there eating peanut butter and venom cheese absolutely rolled him oh i remember that i think i was producing that game and i remember watching it like what the hell <laughs> wow oh my goodness I had to give him a chance right yeah. all, right, all right lexi um, so I've got two. My first one is like we almost made Captain Jack pass out when we were doing a feature match. <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> I think he talked for like six minutes straight. It oh great. it always you know what? The the tail gets longer. I measured it, it's only three minutes, folks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not that good. Don't don't time. yeah, don't 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 take me that far. I will definitely pass out at that point. Uh, my <laughs> My second one is um, Biscuit likes to sing songs before <laughs> we play. Yeah. And he did one. And the remix in the uh, comms check was just Aww. a bunch of chickens squawking. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, laughs> hey. of all the curse words. That's so. amazing. I love it. That's funny because I actually know the original, like the song that they were singing, and it just filled my heart even more so than that song already does. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, the song is called I've No More Fucks to Give. And so to then hear Hey Hey every time there was an <laughs> F-bomb was incredible. Because <laughs> I even gave so much less after that point. I was like, I'm done. I'm slayed. The song <laughs> is forever amazing. All right. Uh, Yoon. Uh, yeah, Yoon's next. Can I add on to my favorite memory real quick sure. before I read hers? Okay, so another favorite memory from season five was when I solo shattered Yoon on Li Zhang. Okay, <laughs> so Yoon's favorite memory of season Air five <laughs> was winning versus Maelstrom in playoffs. Oh. <laughs> Winning her first game with Pantheon. Oh. Um, she says it made me feel like I accomplished something and made me happy. So did Solo shattering you, you. <laughs> so did Solo shattering you. Oh, man. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, Seraph. All right. Uh, so I think my favorite moment, I have like two, but uh, my first favorite moment uh, 
is during our Excel game. Uh, those our Excel game was actually one where we we were very close to losing, mm-hmm. uh, especially on Route 66. Uh, and so basically, we as a team uh, we got rolled on the first first attack of a uh, Route 66. And uh, so on our attack, we kind of all just said, uh, "Fuck it, we go hard. We don't we don't let up. We clutch this and go go for it." Uh, uh, we absolutely go steam steamroll past their time bank and then full hold them for the wow. rest of the round. Yeah, just a complete one eighty on our mental from that, and that just really made me proud of our team. And my second best moment is a uh, our main tank Axel uh, or Ares. Yeah, Ares. I don't know. I keep ah! <laughs> there's two names he goes by. And I just but uh, he has this drink he calls his a uh, grunk. His grunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so his most common recipe for it is a uh, two cans of Monster Energy, two cans of Red Bull, and like almost a liter of Coke. Uh, oh. Just to combine into epic gamer fuel. Oh my god! Power him. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised his heart hasn't stopped. Yeah, if you have not seen Courage's <laughs> beat drop, man, when I heard that the first time, I was like, I drink a lot of caffeine, but holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy I'm surprised crap! He hasn't died. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a heart stopper right there, folks. Don't yeah. do we do not condone that. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a message. Overwatch Tranquility Legal says do not ingest that much caffeine before your tranquility <laughs> matches. All right, uh, Icarus, how about you? Uh, with the very, 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 very sh- five, that, um, I am going to say uh, courage is. One and only win of the season would be Woo-hoo! my uh, my favorite memory. So, <laughs> who is it against? The fighting potatoes. Oof. Sorry, Laz. Sorry, taters. It's okay. Hey, why'd you make him say it? <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> I was because, trying not to. Because we because we have to. I know if it you're was excited, coming. If you're excited about <laughs> it, it, you should be proud. And hey. you know what? Hey, fighting potatoes! You helped out a team that came mid-season, so congratulations mm-hmm. to you too. Yeah, right you're on, welcome. And Laz, right you on, got man. you got the widow diff. Okay, you got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. That's All right. Dope. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Toxic. How about you? Uh, my favorite memory was uh, uh, when we beat Delta Threat in the playoffs, and uh, I just said we beat all the cat Iris podcast members brackets. <laughs> and, uh, except for the Captain Jackson Yetis because they actually had us over Delta Threat. Cars. Thank you. Thank you. That was my so, first yeah. time worth, doing worth, that. I literally no, had worth, no idea. Worth what pointing I was out. Doing. Worth pointing out I was your GM and I didn't even pick you guys. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that, <laughs> Ouch. Oh, my computer, my computer didn't. My computer uh, don't, didn't. Don't, be don't. Fair. Hey, you know what? Blame also, me. you can't pick your team. <laughs> Except, I guess Yeti picked his, his teams, but that's I mean, fine. I mean, else was team? pretty good. About... <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I think I guess I was good. Some you can pick your team, but it's what we call a bard move. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good point. Originally a Specs move, all right? Oh, Let's that's real true. Let's tr- that's true. Oh. And now that Specs is back, we know that's going to... That's going to come back. Oh, my goodness. All right. And if you want to see Boost in mind, I believe that we shared our favorite memories again in uh, one of the uh, end of season awards videos. So be sure to check those out. We, uh, uh, I think we had different ones, or at least I had different ones for every night I did it, I think. so. Um, but uh, I, I think we'd agree that uh, definitely one of our favorites was the uh, uh, the event week. It, is, it was so much fun. Yeah. We raised so much money for such a great cause. It was It was amazing. It was amazing. So um, next question we got for you all, or actually last question, because we want to try to try to cut this time down as best as we can. Uh, oh, sorry. Almost forgot the mail-in votes. Uh, uh, we're not missing much. No. If you can, if you can just blocking, go to Whitman and send yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yes, that's, that's it's the Whitman. only mail-in vote. <laughs> it's Whitman with mercy blocking. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I'm crying over here. All right, so last question we have. Starting one last time with NPC. One thing that you are looking forward to with off season and season six in the headlights. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more teams. Uh, I right. mean, with the bracket we had, I didn't get to play a lot of teams with that weird double bracket. There was just a lot of friends mm. that I have that I didn't get to play. Uh, so I'm going to get to play with and against some of those players in the, the open tournament we're going to have, the GOATS tournaments we're going to have, mm -hmm. all the different uh, weird off-meta stuff we're going to do in the off-season. And then going into Season 6, you know, we're gonna uh, people are going to shuffle around. People are going to play Transcendence tier for the first time. And, you know, it's, it's great seeing those players grow and move on. But, you know, I, I'm really glad I'm going to get to play more of the teams with only 16 teams we're still going to have kind of a split bracket staging system but you're still going to get to play you know like a minimum of seven different teams so it, it's it's going to be nice to play a lot of my friends all right sergio how about you uh i'm treating season six like any other season uh this this time around <clears throat> i'm i'm one of the members in the driver's seat building the team and we're actually doing it right now. JPC is starting to get rolling, and we're going to start tryouts soon. So, like, we're starting tryouts tomorrow and going into next week. Um, so being able to be a part of the 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 navigation of going forward, building the team, getting scrims in already, even before the preseason, then going into the preseason, it's going to be awesome. All right, Laz. All right. Uh, so for off season specifically, uh, I want to. I'm really looking forward to expanding my hero pools, and uh, I want to start scrimming at a uh, pretty high level. Like, uh, I'm on a scrim team right now, and I think our last scrim was like a 3.8 average. Ooh. The other team, and I wanted to get there. I want to start playing at that level consistently. Uh, to get ready for season six, uh, shout out Dino Cheese. Dino uh, Cheese. <laughs> but for season six, like the actual season, I, I still don't know what team I'm going to join. But I, I, I'm looking forward to uh, making a, at least making playoffs this time around. So, well, we'll be glad to That's see you there to. for sure. I, I hope I make it. We believe in you, Laz. All right, oh, Senza. Um, for season six, I really just want to show off my skills as a flex player because people like know me as like a as a as a Genji player, but like people really don't know that I'm actually like really flexible and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, it's just like Bard plays something other than Farah, and and <laughs> Wit plays That's something like other than Mercy. You know, we have a couple in here. A really <laughs> All right. Speaking of Bard. Uh, yeah, well, not to date the recording of this uh, beat drop or anything, but just this morning we over at Modify announced that we are creating our own org oh. called uh, Tempered Metal. Uh, and we are making a, a new Discord tier team called Mechanize that I am for now GMing. Uh, and I'm kind of excited in the off season to, you know, get that going. Uh, I'm excited to not play the game for a while and take some time off to rest. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for the the new org and the new the new team and just getting the ball rolling on that. That sounds cool. I can't wait to see what <laughs> what that brings in season six for sure. Caden. Um. So if you would have asked me this a week ago, I would have said I was looking forward to like really grinding in the off season and improving, um, mostly on tank and support because those are my strongest roles and this, that, and the other. Um, but Destiny 2 is Beyond Light expansion is really fun. <laughs> and I started playing it again. And all of my old clan came back last night. We had like almost 20 people in the chat for the first time in years. So I'm really looking forward to having the off season to uh, play Destiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I am going to actually be working on my support, though, during this. Because one thing I'm looking forward to in Season 6 is Maelstrom is uh, going to be letting me finally play support instead of main tank, which I've done the last two seasons because, I don't know, people just don't like to main tank. Main tanks are a dying breed, and I talk a lot, so the role fits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, my, my favorite role to play is honestly uh, support and off tank, so getting to support next season is uh, really, really freaking awesome, and I'm seriously looking forward to it. 
Awesome. Well, we'll be glad to see you there. Sweaty Asian. Okay, so um, this really comes down to why I joined in Season 5. And really, the most reason was I wanted to roll my friend toast at 3 a.m. Yeah. And take a boop. And uh, the only role I was qualified to play in Harmony was support, so I off rolled in support. But um, I think I've had my fair share of support, so I'm looking for us to play DPS and tank in Discord to your next season. Nice. Can't wait to see you there, Instante. Yeah, right now we have a lot of projects going on in Modify. I wasn't sure how much I could talk about it, but Bart said a lot of it. So yeah, we got a... <laughs> and most of it's public now, so you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. About... Yeah, what's it called? I'm really excited to rebuild, rebuild um, the org or uh, um, getting the team going. Re tryouts, everything is exciting. Uh, they have been promoted to admin, so it's pretty crazy how much um, responsibility uh, my team has put onto me with um, with admin, captain, and everything else. I've been trying to do my best. All right, Narc. Um, I'm mainly looking forward to trying out for Discord tier teams and just Ooh. moving up a tier. I've and got... Bard, DM me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, all right. I love seeing them move up. They just, they just grow up so grow fast. Up so fast. They're growing so up fast. so fast. All right, Cry, how about you? Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing. Uh, looking for another team for sure, but I'm. I guess I'm just uh, looking forward to finding a team that can make a playoffs run next season, whether that be in Discord or Harmony. What? No flashbacks in season six? No back to back? I mean, maybe. I still don't. I still don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right, Rainbow. How about you? Uh, kind of similar to the mod boys. I'm looking forward to uh, assisting other people in rebuilding the Luminous Orc nice. and. GMing and p potentially moving up to Transcendence tier with Infrared. Whoa! Bringing him back. Hey. Holy goodness. That, uh, that's a, gonna yeah, be a lead. It's gonna last more than two weeks. I believe. Ouch. I well, believe. With me at the ah. helm, it will that's right. last Rainbow's more than two weeks. Rainbow's got it. Rainbow's also, got it. Tight leash. Ah. Discord tier, by the way. Uh -oh. All right. Lexi. Well, I am in the same boat as Narc here. I get to try out and move up to Discord tier, so nice. that'll be fun. Nice. And for next season, like we're getting fiber internet, so maybe playing on less than a hundred oh. ping would be awesome. <laughs> that that is gonna be awesome. That is gonna be very awesome. Yoon, how about you? Um, Yoon says. Winning it all, season six harmony is my redemption. No matter what team I'm on, smug face. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't wait. Can't wait to see it, Seraph. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm looking to make the jump to Discord tier as well. Hopefully. Wow. And just hoping to look to improve either my tank or DPS game. Nice. Well, we'll see yeah. you there for sure, Icarus. Um, I would have to say with courage, hopefully moving up to Discord tier. Um, I'm really hoping that, uh, we can actually get some, get some legs implanted in the ground and show people what really we can play with and showing everyone how much we've improved. And it's excluding me, but I want to give like a huge shout out to my team. Like they, they're actually scrimming right now. <laughs> um, but they're just, my team is awesome. They're great people and they're super nice, um, and just great players. So I'm really excited to see what in uh, season six all right and toxic blade uh i'm really just excited to start scrimming again in the off season like i kind of miss scrimming because i've only been able to play comp every so often with school and it scrimming gives me another feel whenever i hit like a six man shatter and scrims or six man flux it's just fun so i'm excited to scrim more and excited for the goats tourney. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the right answer. That's right. And actually, I'm gonna have us jump in here, Booth. Uh, what What are you looking forward Ooh. to for the off season and season six? 
<laughs> looking forward to in the off season. I think I'm going to answer both for us here, Jack. Yep. I'm looking forward to not doing production or cast four nights a week. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, oh, that's my... not what I was going for. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking forward. I think it's going to be a, a really interesting next season for us in terms of the Twitch team. Um, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to hopefully training a lot new, a lot of new uh, casters and producers. Um, we kind of did a little bit of that last season. Um, there's a few things that I'm currently working on uh, to try to add a little bit more, I think, to our, I think, already pr- really high-level production quality. Um, Cavalier produces such a great package. Uh for us to use as um, producers, but there's a couple other things that I'm trying to add in before next season that I think will um, look really cool for us. So i um, looking forward to continue working on that. And into the season six, I'm really looking forward to these um, changes with the tournaments. Like uh, it's, it's really hard for me to be able to play on teams again. I really want to have been playing competitive a lot, but um, it's so it's really hard not being able to do that with uh, the dedication for like Twitch team stuff. But like with the goats tournaments and the open Q, the open Q uh, tournaments we're going to have, like I'm, I'm probably going to try to play in this. So I'm excited that we have those in- implemented now. Let's people still be able to keep up playing with the community community that aren't able to dedicate in the time needed to play on a team still. So that's that's, that's definitely what I'm most excited for. That's true, and I think I think we're only casting like the finals matches for those, right? Or like semifinals and finals, something like um, that. Um, definitely not all of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. We're, I don't think. I don't know if we have that quite laid out yet because I don't think th- I don't. We don't know exactly what's going to happen with those in the first place yet. But all definitely right. not all of them. Definitely not all of them. Can't can't wait to see what those come out with. And I myself am so excited because Booth and I are going recruiting this off season because mm-hmm. we're gonna find more casters. So Please. Captain Jap isn't Captain Jack isn't casting half of the matches this season this next season oh. so <laughs> not that i don't mind casting i absolutely love it but i would just personally i would love it if more people have the opportunity you know ah, many of the issues that we had this season was just the fact that you know wednesday nights everybody's playing so no yeah no, you know i'm one of the few people that that is available to cast for the transcendence tier because i don't play on a team so exactly. going out and trying to find well, other casters to to build up and make that available to them i think is going to be really great yeah i mean real quick my, my favorite thing about casting with tranquility is that basically everybody started here you know That's i right. mean there's only a few people i think yourself and maybe one or two other casters didn't begin ex- exclusively with tranquility i mean door who just did contenders final i mean the contender semifinals for uh china um first cast with this tranquility i mean we all kind of started here albari i think he did some casting outside as well before this um but it's it's such a cool way to start working with this i mean you'll probably be surprised how much you actually know how, how good people would be um doing this but it's such a cool it's a cool community to work with because um, you, you know a lot more about other teams than you really think you would where other casters jump into teams they've learned about five minutes before the match started and have to try to make small talk about mm-hmm. it so um, it's a great way for people to get started and stuff and if you want to please reach out to reach out to uh, Jack or myself um, if you'd like to get involved yeah I think I think that probably everybody in this lobby can agree that one of the best things about tranquility is the production value and y'all don't see it behind the scenes. And I think this was something that juke started when they were, uh, do when they were the uh, Twitch manager at the time, but doing, we have like huge info sheets that as oh, yeah. casters, we <laughs> are, are prepared weekly for us, like are updated with any kinds of interesting stories and stuff for us to talk about. Like, I would say that this is like owl tier production going on here, folks, except for, you know, NA production, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, th- this is by far the greatest production community that I've ever been a part of. Just best community in general, in all in all accounts. Um, but let's stop gushing about tranquility. Yeah. Now, now <laughs> we're going to, now we're going to have some fun and we're going to start kicking some people out of here. Cause uh, it's getting a little, it's a little cramped after these two hours. And uh, yeah, we let's, really let's clear this to, out a bit. Yeah. We need to get some people on their way. So we're headed on to the game that we're always fun playing server kick trivia tonight. Uh, at, we have a massive Uh-oh. set Uh-oh. of trivia tonight 
and it is all interactions, Overwatch interactions. So this will either be uh, character v. character, either it will be a character uh, saying a line to another character or saying a line about another character if they're getting an elimination, um, or it will be character versus environment so uh say they spawn on a particular map it'll be a voice line that's related to a particular map and of course we'll let you know ahead of time whether the answer uh requires uh two characters or uh a character and a map uh as always the way it goes um if you get the answer correct uh, you get to choose who to kick from the server. Uh, a reminder, you cannot kick myself or Booth because we're in charge. So, haha. -ha. And you, you can't can kick try. yourself. No, you can't try. <laughs> no, you can't try. You have no power. Well, I mean, Bard could try, but I don't think even Bard could kick us. <laughs> so, you can If try. I have the kick button over top of Bard, just waiting uh, for him to attempt it. <laughs> <laughs> just in case, just in case. All right, and then, uh, of course, if you get the answer wrong, uh, you get kicked yourself. So, uh, w because there are so many people, we had to employ uh, CosmoBuzz.net because that was the only uh, thing that I could find that would actually work <laughs> to try to set this up so uh, so that we knew who was actually the first one to get the answer right. So, so, children, I'm going to unlock your buzzers now, but don't press them right now. Because if you do, then you won't get to answer the question. Okay? There we go. Uh, I unlocked them now. Type in the answer? No, you Wait, don't hit have the to... button. Hit the button. No, hit the, <laughs> don't hit the button. You're tempting me <laughs> to no, hit the button. Oh, my God. All right, all right. So I, so I have it set so that it's only the first person that buzzes in. Uh, because that's really the way it works. And a reminder, if you make it all the way to the end, you are like the epic server kick mm -hmm. trivia winner. You get to brag about whatever you want with none of these other all-stars to contest you. And they have that's to right. wait till the video comes out to find out what you said about them. Or didn't. Oh, so Some people are really nice. <laughs> exactly. Is it going to be an arm? Is it going to be indigo? I was about to say you could really that. make this a team mm. battle if you really wanted to. Ooh. Can All I right. kick my own teammates? All right. Oh, yeah. So, so booth, <laughs> encouraged. booth. I will let you go ahead and choose the first one. All right. Wait, we wait, have do, I, lots do I refresh the page because my thing's still locked? Um. Wait, yeah. How do you buzz? Yeah, you might want to refresh the page. I actually don't even see your name on here. Let's make sure we got everybody. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, should nine, have 10, 11, 12, 15 10, now. 15, Wait, 16, where are we buzzing? 16 now. 16 now. Sorry. Actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Asian, Asian, Asian wasn't there. here. So you're going to go to cosmobuzz.net. And then <laughs> you're going to put in the code that I'm sure someone will be nice to put in general for you. Yep. As well oh, okay. as your uh, name in the chat. All right. And thank you. Seraf, I'm always sus. <laughs> I I am the the, crack, uh, the venting vandal in uh, in the spicy server. That's who I am. So let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're missing two. Who are we missing? I'm missing here? just one. I think we have sixteen that should be coming in. Sixteen. That's true. So we should have 16. We're just missing. See, now I have to play guess and check. Uh, uh, it probably just sweaty Asian logging in, right? Nope, I have sweaty I'm Asian. In. I'm missing it some might guys. be Nars, because Nars is on his phone, remember? Uh, that's right. Oh. Um, I don't see Nars, so it is Nars. Dang. Uh, can uh, nurse if you can refresh. Oh, it looks like <laughs> we're just lost just, again. Nurse so. just dropped. <laughs> he oh, just vanished. Yeah. So. to Brazil. He's no, back he's in back. general. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Okay, let me move him in. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, nurse. Can you hear us, nurse? <laughs> Didn't work. Okay. Um. Well, uh, do we just kick him first? <laughs> Survival uh, of the fittest. I mean, I, I feel I feel like it's almost kick. like a mercy killing at right. this point. Yeah. To to send nurse yeah. on their way. So <laughs> nurse, I oh, who busted? Sarah. I I you. tried to say I didn't know it worked. <laughs> Oh my god. god. Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> all right. What's the answer? All right. So, so Nars, just because we know you've been having issues all night, we're going to give you a mercy killing for this one. And uh, thank you to Booth who prepared all of these for tonight because I didn't want to make these up on the fly because they'd probably be really, really bad. So, um, uh, not much better. Uh, I mean, they're at least well thought out bad, which I think is important. <laughs> yeah, so, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, Narcissist, do you have any last words before we send you on your way? Bard is a feeder. Very well. All right. Well, as you know, the Merriam-Webster definition for your name says an extremely self-centered person who has an exaggerated sense of self-importance. Sadly, you won't be flexing any more roles tonight. So... That is our first elimination due to spotty internet. Get on it, internet companies. You take all our money, make it better. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, Yoon needs a, her translator. It's all right, because Yoon can write yeah, the can answers the answer. the text for this. Yes. Yeah, all she has to do is you've got a buzz in. So. All right. Is that what that box is? Uh, well, the box can allow you to write in an answer, but since you're all in here, you can just say your answer when we call Yeah, the box it. with yeah. the word text right. entry in it, yeah, yeah, that's what it's for. Yep. It's so, for entering thank, text. Thank you, that's NPC. Right. I appreciate it. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> all right, all right, children, I'm going to unlock the buzzers again. Everybody <gasps> good? Hey, it's me, Spartan. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> all right. Buzz, buzz. All right, so, so. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Booth, go ahead with our first okay. set of trivia. Are we doing character first, and character or character and environment? This is character and character. You need okay. to get both of them correct um, to get this one to count. But okay, here we go. How do I trust a man who is half machine? The heart <gasps> of a man still beats inside of me. I did. Uh, that is overwhelmingly NPC before the question was even done. So NPC That's something Zarya says to Genji, and Genji responds with the heart of a man. That is that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> that is wrong. Awesome. I'm I, I'm sorry, it's folks, but I think I think you are all at a very big disadvantage when it comes to NPC. Gigabit <laughs> <laughs> fiber gang, baby. Oh <laughs> man. Oh no. Well, I wasn't thinking no. with that. I, I just figured like you paid attention to the voice lines like I do. But okay, okay. Uh, I, I got to do it. I got to kick Bard. Come on, get out of here. Uh, You're a feeder. Uh, <laughs> Well, oh. all right. Well, Bard, I can't officially kick you. So, any uh, last I'll words leave, before leave, you but, remove uh, for yourself? my last words? Uh, yes. I just would like to thank everyone for letting me uh, be a guaranteed All Star champion this season. Uh, see you guys next week. I mean, champion. That that really was Thug's doing. That wasn't our <laughs> he, choice. He picked the Indigo team. Yeah. Yeah, so, he wins no matter what. Yeah, he also that was loses Thug's no fault. matter what. So, so hashtag hashtag yeah, blame Thug for that one. <laughs> Uh, so the what we had written for Bard was you might have picked two thirds of the finals from this season, but you definitely couldn't pick a voice line. <laughs> oh, 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 shots fired! All right, hey, I can see myself in the box now. How about that? All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this uh, so that we can get on to our next one. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, let's see. Uh, this is going to be uh, Hero on Hero, and the line is Traitor. That's it. That's it. What? That's the <laughs> line. Uh. Who's a gambler? NPC is a gambler. I'm, I'm going to gamble because I kind of want to go. Uh, this is something that uh, Soldier 76 would say to Reaper. Oh, that is really close. Man. You would think that, but that's actually something that Reinhardt says when Ooh. taking out Reaper. So very close, but for the same reason, obviously. because For as much as I play Reinhardt, you'd think I would know that, but... Uh, honestly, <laughs> with as much... just don't kill Reapers. Uh, with you as traitor. Much... Yeah. Exactly. We get killed by Reapers, so we never get to hear that line. <laughs> So oh, y'all doing it wrong. You solo shadowed a reaper. Oh, uh, see, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's our fault. That's our he fault. Didn't know so how to kill a reaper. NPC, he. unfortunately, we gotta send you on your way. Uh, we gotta gotta send you on your way. Any last words? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, my my last words. I guess my favorite voice line of all time in Overwatch was there was a period of time where there was a bug where for some reason Zenyatta would just go, 
It does. My brother Mandata gave much to improve their lives. Without any prompt whatsoever. Tracer was supposed to say something about Mandata, but it was just hilarious. He'd be sitting in spawn and Mandata would be like, it does. All right. Well, <laughs> well, NPC, thank you for joining us. You might be the back, two back, two back, two back, but you won't be coming back here anytime soon. <laughs> All right. All right. Next one on the list. I'm going to reset mm -hmm. the buzzer and booth. Okay. This one's going to be um, hero and hero again. It's a little bit of a long one. So, can I have your autograph? Uh, I was wondering if <laughs> oh I, if you would sign something for me. It's uh, for a friend. Um, after this match is over, right now I have to get serious. All right, uh, sweaty Asian <laughs> very quickly answered that. So let's see if you're right. Uh, who do you say are those two heroes? Uh, it's between Ryan and Diva, right? You are correct. Reinhardt and Diva. Sweaty Asian taking the lead now on the most kicks as they choose who's getting yeeted. Um, yeah, I don't know a lot of these people like, personally, so I'm just go, going with the funny number, 6-9. So I'm just going to kick a person with 6. So it's between Kaden and Yoon. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip a coin. All right. Uh, so it was heads. So that would be Kaden. Sorry. Oh, Kaden. You are being kicked. Any last words? Hey, Jacob. Bum, bum. <laughs> oh my god oh, yeah, ready to go oh my goodness oh my goodness Caden you as always have been our calm check queen this season but unfortunately y'all out of content all right oh we are dwindling our numbers very very quickly folks let me reset that buzzer so that I can ask our next piece of trivia that's a couple of uh character v character let me find one that's uh character and environment here let's see Ooh, i think i is one of them mm. hmm. i'm going deep on the list deep oh, right. okay okay i'm going deep <laughs> going deep i'm going deep <laughs> all right <laughs> folks i wasted many an hour of my misspent youth here oh all right, and that will be Seraf the Sheriff. Damn it. <clears throat> Is that Reinhardt and Gibraltar? <gasps> oh, actually, oh, that was good for his tan, but that's not oh. good for your chance of staying here. That is actually Genji on Hanamura. Uh, I miss When Genji spawns in the arcade. So, Seraph the Sheriff. Uh-oh. You are uh, you are going to be on oh, your any way. Last there. Words. Any last words first? Any last mm. words? <clears throat> I take great inspiration from this quote. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us, Seraf. The Sheriff. I... Sadly, this town was not big enough for the two of us. Or the, the Cree. Like, 12 of us? No, that's yeah, not there you <laughs> <laughs> That's not it! All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Booth, let me reset. You got the next one. All right. This is a character in character. So, how can you fight in the cold wearing so little? I'll tell you my secret if you give me your coat. That is Sweaty Asian. Okay. Uh, it's between May and Zarya, right? Yes, it is. Two for two tonight, sweaty Asian. Racking oh, it my. up. All right. With your 6-9 philosophy, that means we are on Yoon or Toxic Blade. I'm afraid it's Yoon. I'm going with the sixes first. Going with the Sorry. sixes first. Okay, Yoon, type to me in your little box what your going away message is as I, as I prep oh. your kick message. Oh, so thoughtfully. I help Booth with this one. We wrote you a poem. It, it's going to be very nice. Mm -hmm. you, will, you will greatly enjoy it. 
All right. So, Yoon says, Laz feeds, sends the smells. Uh, Wait. The rest of you are great. <laughs> Wait. Wow. Yoon? <laughs> Wow! You got, so, you got something to say? So, so <laughs> this is this, my face this from from myself from Booth and myself is an ode to Yoon. Sadly, Yoon, you have been zoomed out of this room. <laughs> time to get boomed. Very poetic. Oof. There you go. Yeah. All right. I feel attacked. Where, yeah. uh, I feel I feel a little hurt actually. <laughs> For for the person that never talks, yeah. <laughs> you feel so dead. <laughs> Why us, dude? All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and reset. And uh, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. All right. So this is a character on character. Remember, you're responsible for this. Remember, you're responsible for this. Sweaty Asian. Um, Three for three? I'm not exactly sure about this one, but I'm going to take a risk. Is it between Reaper and Moira? Oh, it is so, so close. It is yeah. Reaper killing Mercy. I'm saying so close, so close. Toxic was probably like right behind. <laughs> I've only got it. I've only got it showing who the first buzz was, just so that I don't have to sort through everybody. But sweaty Asian, I'm so sorry. Uh, you tried to go three for three, but now we gotta send you on your way. Any last words? Um, give me a second. I got something special. Oh no, uh oh. Uh, I'm afraid of what it is. Do, 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 do. Uh, um, I think we're the timer's ending. Yeah, time. Clutch your kick. Clutch your kick. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> With all the wow. main noises tonight. Well, oh. well, Sweaty Asian, we were glad that you were able to join us at the end, but yeah, so sweaty, you slipped right out of the server. Booth oh. probably had a better one prepared, but we, we removed the ones uh, that said they weren't going to be here just because of clutter, and now I feel bad. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, Booth, I don't you remember get... it, so it, it couldn't have been that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay. it has been a long night. <laughs> so uh, you get the next one. Okay. This is a character and environment one. Um, I think this is a pretty easy one, so we'll see who can click the fastest. Mm -hmm. Ah, the sight of one of my finest kills. On that day, I felt alive. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, who, who do you think has it? Come on, who yeah. thinks they buzzed in? We first? all we all know we all know who knows this one. It is wow. Widowmaker on King Zero. That is correct. And Laz actually was the first one to buzz in. <laughs> so I don't know if it shows if you're the one that buzzed in first, but oh, it's green on it's green uh, for me. See, there you go. Uh, so yeah. Laz did buzz in first, so that means Laz getting it correct. You get to choose <laughs> who we're eating. Who are we sending on their um, way? Don't. I'm doing this one because it's kind of funny. Uh, Toxic, you're actually not safe. I pick you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Toxic, you thought you were safe. No one is safe here. Do not. Do not. <laughs> oh, bad. man. Toxic. Sorry, dude, I had to. Toxic. I thought I was going to get my revenge on Cry from the uh, program. Good, oh, good try. Oh, good try. God, but you should have been uh, faster on the buzz. Any last words? Uh... No, not really. Just take me. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, Toxic. Thanks I for being with us. We know you are one of the Zoomers of the group. So, you know, it, it seems to be a little past your bedtime. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. We got it down to a countable number now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight remaining in this kick session. Just want you to know this game has will probably take about 30 minutes. So... <laughs> The fact that we were able to get this to two and a half hours, I think is pretty great. I think that was pretty yeah. great. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to go with a uh, character and character, hero and hero again. Overwatch. Uh, that that is the game that this comes from you are correct um the line is death comes fuck sergio spade oh i got it you got it oh uh it's reaper to who uh, um fuck i forgot uh oh yeah, I buzzed because I remembered the Reaper part. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I totally forgot the second part of it. Exactly. Just, it could be to take whom, a, it could be can, from whom. Can I, take, can I take a guess? I mean, yeah, because yeah, if you sure. don't, then you lose. <laughs> um, it's Reaper... I want to say... I want to say to soldier. Ooh, you would think, but no. Although Reaper does have the death comes voice line, this one actually is triggered by Tracer in a mocking fashion when she kills Reaper. So, Sergio, you tried, you rolled the yeah. dice, and unfortunately, we got to let you go. Any last words? Uh, I actually do want to take it to a little bit of a serious note. All I right. think it was, I think it was this season that you guys hosted a event for vets with or the the mental health for gamers. Yep, event week. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, as a vet and somebody who's going through his share of stuff, um, I normally like see the pings and tranquility and uh and just go by because it doesn't have anything to do with me but when you i saw that you guys the whole community were coming together for that specific topic it honestly made me really feel like someone actually gave two shits um to the point where i actually broke down in my therapist's room thinking about it Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I want to say uh, thank you guys. Well, thank you because we couldn't be such an amazing community without you. So now, now I feel bad saying this kick message. Gosh, man. Well, Sergio, Sergio, we gotta let you go. It's not that mean of one, at no, least. No, that's true. <laughs> Sergio, you may be the pride, one of the prides of JPC, but you can just fly yourself right out of here. But okay, man, it was a little mean at the end. Mean, like, oh, man, uh, was just, that's why that's why I kicked him before because it was so nice. No, but, no. but really, truly, this is this is something great that Trank does. I can't wait to see what we do next season. I mean, we almost hit 4K this season. Yeah, I mean, 6K, 8K, 10K. <sighs> Let's go! Let's go! All for a good cause. All right, so. All right, everybody, wipe your tears away. This is cut throat. Back to the action. All right. Sir. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remaining. Hmm, lots okay. of quiet ones sneaking their way in here. Yeah. You better be careful, folks. Better it's be good careful. Good strategy. It uh -huh. is. It is, but it's n it does not keep you safe. All right, mm. Booth, it is your turn. All right, I'm going with a hero and environment on this okay. one. <clears throat> I will have that gauntlet. Oh my god. Laz. <laughs> Don't. This is Doomfist on Doombani. Oh! Ooh, I, what? You stopped? Oh, and that is Widowmaker on Numbani, actually. Oh, Do you remember the first oh, one? The oh, the first oh, one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the OG introductory cutscene. Mm -hmm. Oh, Laz, you thought you thought you had Senza the at the tip. Video. You thought you had no, Senza no, at the tip of your gun. We all know. We all know it, Laz. Hated. We oh, all know it. Picking off the indigo people. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's okay. too many. Oh, There's too many. That's right. Senza, gotta bring well, it you know what? Senza <laughs> got a Senza blade carry it now. So, Laz, any last words before we send uh, you on your way? I mean, 
All I gotta say is shout out Dino Cheese. Dino Cheese. Best scrim team NA. Uh, that's it. Kick me. Dino Cheese. All right. Dino well, cheese. well, well, as oh. as a member of the Fighting Potatoes, you went out fighting all the way. But unfortunately, your potato was only par cooked. All right. Eight. Senza. Oh God. Senza, the, carry the your team. Orum carry. Eight. The Orum Eight. carry. Can you do it? It has to be a five one. Oh, it's got to. It's got to be a five k, baby. It's got to be a five k. All right. Let me reset those buzzers once again. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> You know oh, everybody's sure. gunning for you now. Sorry. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> um, oh man. Da, 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 da. All right. This is character and character. I thought you were dead. Didn't take. Rainbow. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm going to guess this is Reinhardt to Anna. There mm. is a similar line, but no, that is incorrect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. can, I, can I steal this? No, you can't <laughs> steal <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky your 5K is now a 4K sense, though, all right? Jeez. Uh, this is actually between Soldier and Reaper. Uh, you know, Reaper being like, didn't take, came back from the dead. All right, okay. Rainbow, you have been so sweet tonight, yeah. but we, we got to kick you out. Any last words before we send you on your way? All right, listen, guys, I know it looks like I'm the imposter, but I guarantee you it's Sensa, so vote me out. Ooh, next round, vote Sensa. Ooh, Sensa sus! Uh, Sensa sus! Okay. 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 All right. I well, was in the vent the entire time. Well, you okay. know what? All the colors might be in the rainbow, but <laughs> all of the answers, sadly, just weren't in your head. Sag, sag. All right. Next one, Booth. Okay. Um, this one's going to be a um, character v. character. Your mother would have been very proud of you. You didn't know my mother very well then. Wow. God. Hey, hey relax. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sate just typed kick Senza immediately. <laughs> So Instante, who are the uh, who are the two characters? Is Fire talking to Mercy or Mercy talking to Fire? I can't remember how it worked. Oh no, I don't know. Oh. Ooh. Is that correct? I'm sorry, no, it is Soldier talking to Farah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that 4K just Live became a 3K. Another day, Senta. <laughs> Ooh, man, Instante, you tried. To, you tried to shatter Senza, but no, Senza got away with the blade. Any last words before we let you go? Did my bidding. Someone did. I think talk. Who was it? Not toxic. An Asian did my bidding to kick you. All right, all right. <laughs> well, Instante, we hate to see you go, but in this instance, Instante, you gotta leave. This instant. <laughs> Because because in, in yeah, Instante is Spanish. Like I got like a three hour yeah. meeting and I was like, okay, I'll solve the rest of these out on paper. <laughs> well, I modified uh, that one, so you can blame me for that one, for okay, that being okay. as bad as it was. All right. Oh man, we are down to the final four: Senza for Orum and Cry, Lexi and Icarus for the side of Indigo. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be a fun one. Oh. So this is a uh, character and character again. I think we're gonna lay off the character and environment because we only have a few of those, and we're trying to save the rest for the other ones. So, um, you're a no good bully. How can you even look at yourself in the mirror? Oh, that's cold. Here's someone not, every, not everybody at once, please. <laughs> You're just a no good bully. How can you even look at yourself in the mirror? Oh, that's cold. 
I mean, you got half the answer right there. Don't make me pull out the random number generator. Ooh, Uh, Ooh, is Senza going for the blade? No, it's Cry! Cry's taking a shot. Will the shot Uh, land? Cry, who is it? I'm going out on a limb and saying Tracer May. Oh! First off, those are two of the nicest characters. That, that That's quite a <laughs> limb. But no, that is actually May and Junkrat. Oh, they, they do that, not have well, the greatest relationship, those two, that fire and ice combo. So cry. I'm sorry. You've been so sweet tonight, but we got to uh, let you sorry. go. Champions in our hearts and of the Harmony tier, but not here. Any last words? Um, just thanks for the amazing season. This is my first season, so it was really exciting to be playing in it. Um, but otherwise, uh, mess with the Doc and you will get the Glock. That's right. You mess with the Doc, you get the Glock. Well, I have I have a, a little a little story you may be familiar with. Cry. Uh, this little all star went to market. And this little all-star cried wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> all right. Sensa, <clears throat> your odds are very I good. know how I got here. I... <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I bet Sensa buzzed in for a couple of those, trying to see if they could go clutch. And uh, <laughs> be lucky you didn't. <laughs> Unless you knew the answer, then I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, only three remain. Booth, mm-hmm. it's on you again. Let me reset real oh. quick, and we'll uh, get that on your way. You're good. All right. This is character and character. Tin cans, dime a dozen. I don't believe this hero. Oh, uh, shoot. This answer also has multiple answers, too. It does. So you got a got a shot on who one of those heroes would be. Give it to him one more time, Booth. Ten cans, dime a dozen. There are two possible answers. All right, Sensa, pulling out the uh, blade. Uh, Lexi's in here, though. You might get slapped. Who is it? Okay, so I've 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 heard Reaper say this. All right, to Reinhardt? Question mark. You get this wrong, you you're out. Or the Reaper is correct. Oh no! And the oh. Reinhardt is sadly incorrect. You have oh. two Either chances. to Bastion or Zenyatta. That's right. If we say Echo, does it count as all characters? Ooh, that's uh... a <laughs> no. No, it <laughs> happy doesn't. That it went this late, but no, that does no, not count. It <laughs> oh, oh Senza, you pulled the blade, you got the nano, but you got slept, dude, and then you got shattered, and then you got charged into a wall. Uh, and Aura. Don't forget the tea bag. And oh yeah, don't forget the tea bag. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm coming for you, Senza. <laughs> You are on your way out. Any last words? JPC is the number two team. Don't at me. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Senza, thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, you weren't able to Senza the answer to that question. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> I mean, these were prepped ahead of time, so it's just serendipity that they're turning out this way at this point. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. So Indigo, obviously the the victor to the victors go the spoils. But now you have to face off against one another. Icarus has been very quiet this entire time, as has Lexi. So we didn't have to do anything. They fed. Big yeah, shot. they fed. Oh. See the biggest feeders. Orum tier. Goodness gracious. Oh man. All right. All right. So with you two remaining, don't worry about the buzzers this time. We, we got two of you. I think we can figure out who said it first. All right. And I'm gonna give it a. I'm give you a real easy one. Hopefully, okay. we'll see. Can you just like blurt it out. 
<laughs> no, you gotta say your name. Say your name oh, as the buzzer. Got it. I, I mean, you both have done one of these before, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah, yeah. You ready? No. Can't keep up? Then stay out of our way. Icarus. Icarus. Oh shit! Is a soldier. And. Oh shit! There's, one. there's duos every time. <laughs> this is character and character, right? Character and character. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> Oh Lord! Oh, I really, I really. Um. Uh, what was the line again? Can't keep up, then stay out of our way. This is not good. No, no, it is not. I mean, uh, do we just put him out of his misery? Nah. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm Does just gonna echo. It's all character. No, it doesn't count. Yeah. That's not <laughs> Echo Dupe. Let's go. Soldier and Echo uh, Dupe. Oh I think God. we send him to a farm up north now. Oh boy. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. I don't know why, but Junkrat. <laughs> Those two were way off, actually. Lexi, you wasn't even right. I don't know why you're trying to help. <laughs> Lexi, I'll, I'll just, I'll just gander. Guess you may know this one. Any, any oh, thoughts? God, no, I- no? I have no idea. No clue? I'm oh, man, everybody throwing for Lexi today. All right. <laughs> oh, man, that I'm is, so of course, the two stupid. speediest heroes in the game, Lucio and Tracer. I wasn't even right about the soldier. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was misery. That's why Booth wanted to put you out of your misery, but I extended your misery on purpose. <laughs> So, oh, Icarus, no, Icarus. I did hear a voice land today talking about going to a club between Sigma and Widow. That was a good one. I I, I think I remember something about that. Uh, I think we used that in a previous cast. So, uh, Icarus, you got so far, but in the end, it didn't really matter. Don't you copyright strike me. Don't you dare. All right. So, any last words before we send you on your way? You know... Uh, thanks, man. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, and uh, I hope I hope everyone has fun. And all. I'm, I mean, Icarus, you earned your spot here. You you got Aww. voted in here. You got here, thanks. and we can't wait to see what you do. But you know what? You know how the fable goes. There yeah. was an all star who flew too close to the sun, and ended up getting kicked. The end. Lexi. Yes. Wow. I won by Out not of, saying you, anything. You won by not saying a damn thing. The ultimate all-star winning the server kick trivia. How do you feel? I, I feel pretty good. I fed less than everybody else. Yeah, and sometimes <laughs> that's hey, all you can all do. It takes. That's all you can all do sometimes is feed less than everybody else. Hey, so. I play on Anna. My only goal is to not die. That's so. right. So you, the floor is yours for uh, as long as you'd like it. Uh, what would you like to say to uh, your fellow All Stars, the Tranquility Community, your your teams, upcoming teams? Kick ass and stay sassy. That's all I gotta say. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lexi, and all of the All Stars for joining us at this very special beat drop episode. We got two more, and then it's the end. Well, actually, wait. Crap. Now I gotta look at the order <laughs> to make sure because I this think is there's weird one more because, after this. Because technically, we're recording this in a different order than we're posting them, which is. Uh not the same as we usually do it uh Mm -hmm. but we wanted to put these after the actual one so yes uh booth you are correct the discord all-stars will be tomorrow night you would have already seen the transcendence all-stars at this point but thank you so much to lexi and all the all-stars for joining us tonight we hope that you all have had a great season five and hope you will continue to be with us moving on into the off season and season six for all of us here at the beat drop my name's captain jack and I am Booth. And we'll see y'all next time. Drop the beat.